Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo. Jedi was showing me her uh, Minecraft. She was being all Minecrafty over here. Oh, it's real. So you gotta check out this map. You gotta check out the map. Check, check it out. So, Is everyone ready to check it out? Okay, uh, right, what? So, That's Dude yes. underscore Blight89 right just resubscribed for two months. Thank you, Dude Blight, for the resubscription, and thank you, the free heathen, for the cheer and the raid. Anyway, go ahead, continue. Okay. Sorry, I got and, and you saw the mermaid, right? No. K2 loves top, the map. The what? Top, yes? Uh huh. And you see the little birdie? Uh, I did not, but. Faceless Chad X100. Yay, Minecraft. Do you Jedi. understand? Everyone, have you, have you so caught you up? Check it out. Because then you're close to the treasure. That's all you gotta know when it comes to Minecrafting. See, y'all were watching Brit earlier doing her Minecraft thing, you know, and you're thinking, ah, I can figure this out. No, no, no. Jedi. She's gonna. She's gonna. She's gonna be streaming this stuff. The Almost guaranteed. X100. What's on the printer tonight, Chris? Thank you, Pez Liz, for the cheer, and thank you for helping start the hype train, and thank you, the Midnight Smith, for asking the question. And what's not gonna do it? Thank you, Kieran Clark, for the cheer. Uh, what I am printing tonight? Kieran underscore Clark cheered X one hundred. Uh, what I am printing tonight is a, a series of kyber crystals that should start moving. There we go. So I oriented them in different arrangements because I'm still using the Gurpal. Although I have to say, uh, as I move my picture back, oh, you get, by the way, there's today's cereal. Some uh, Dunkin' Mocha Latte. Gonna have coffee this late at night. Picked out the marshmallows from that, so we're gonna be diving into that. But I'm almost, look at that. I'm almost done with the Gurpal. The, the Gurpal that, what, what, is, what is up with the freezing here? Why is it freezing like this? Stop the freezing. So Revy I'm almost done with the Gurple. just subscribed. And, uh, oh, Revy, thank you for the resubscription. Or, I guess, the new subscription. Uh, so, I'm printing, or I printed this. The low-poly, and I gotta tell you, low-poly prints are awesome with this type of silk filament. They are awesome. Low-poly for the win with this stuff. So, Revy, if I'm not mistaken has a, uh, a model, the Chewbecky, if you want a Chewbacca, that's Becky. I've not printed her yet, but you should know you made someone's day yesterday, if, if you didn't care. I think she tagged you there on Twitter, Denise, who probably will not be tuning in tonight, because she doesn't like me eating cereal. I don't blame her. But thank you, Revy, for using your Prime subscription here. Very appreciated. We're now at a level two hype train. Our sub goal, we had to move it. A tiny bit because that's how it goes like we you know we were like way overboard and then inevitably as the month goes on it wears down if we're not able to maintain it but we're currently six away from potentially tonight's stretch sub goal so uh 516 of 525 total sub uh, points amish gnome 3d amish coming gnome in with a whopping 500. 500 thank you so much amish, no amish gnome 3d uh how have i been fine for you know for, since we last saw each other last night been good yes big fan i i was catching super sevens uh, reveals of the uh um of the who frame roger I'm rabbit not as interesting just gifted five subs well hang on wait no 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 it was thank you for the gifted subs we're now this close from tonight's sub goal uh, um, thanks to Amish Gnome, who's been a great supporter of the 3D printing community in general. King Rawl 3D, I think, was the person that made the Chewbacca. Not Revy 2K. Jeffrey Heaton just subscribed. I could be wrong. Uh, Wondrous Hippo, uh, Calvin, uh, B Squad Leader, uh, King Rawl, Luna, and then Darth Gallum cheering 66 bits. That's amazing. That's who it is? There we go. I Sometimes, if I don't really... I mean, I might know you. And I might remember usernames, uh, but if I if I cross the streams, I apologize. Or at level three, well, and I'm gonna go get Palpatine after the free heathens 100 bits and K2 Definitely Design Lab. Are you guys 100? Are y'all trying to make me walk barefoot on Lego bricks tonight? Twice? Nah, we're not at the sub goal. We're not at the sub goal. K2 Design Lab cheer decks 100.
the free hidden just gifted one subs. Hello, my pitiful friends. I hope you are doing well. Let me turn on the graphics for everybody to see. This is the, whoa. Uh, I was not expecting Amish that. Amishion 3D just gifted five subs. It is most welcome. It seems that Chris will have to walk on Lego bricks once at least. Unless we get through a level 5 hype train. Comic Age Clothing's helping make it happen with his 33 bits. Big Jano with his 100 bits. Comic Age Clothing with an additional 33 and a 33. K2 Design Lab with a 100. I want to make sure I'm not missing anybody. Oh! The Free Heathen gave out community sub gifts as well. Amish no. Dex 100. Palpy likes walking on Legos barefoot. <laughs> so, they, I, do, I do not. Oh, the Palpy does? Dex 100. Well, I suppose I will walk on Lego bricks and I will force, uh, get it, force Chris to walk on the Lego Amish bricks as well. X500. If we get through a level five. Uh, but thank you very much, Amish Gnome 3D. Uh, I really appreciate it. You're quickly becoming a, an MVP tonight and the free heathen, amazing support. I hope your U Wing print goes well. Eh, 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 eh. Liz is slapping stickers. Left and she Chris is not cool, by the way. He is the opposite of cool. Amisha Gnome 3D cheered X500. Chris is definitely an apprentice. Your two-week allowance. Indeed, I remember the last time I had an allowance. I was a child. And unfortunately, I had to do chores to get that allowance. Marshmallow Mundane. 53 Whoa. 500. Wow, that is outstanding, Marshmallow Man. And bear Oh my god, watch out! There is a bear in the chat. At least one bear is in the chat right now. SI 3D printing. Oh no. The Free Heathen Cheer Dex 100. Thank you, the Free Heathen, for the additional 100. After Marshmallow Man 53's 500 bit cheer and SI printing, aka Bears 50 bits. B1G underscore Big channel Yano Cheer Dex 100. Chris will have to walk barefoot through Legos 45,928,476,225. That is a lot. But it seems that Chris Comic may have to walk on the. Cheer Dex 100. Palpy, get the bricks out. You are relentless. You are incorrigible. And I love it. I love walking on Lego bricks barefoot. Ah, uh, because, you know, I'm Emperor Palpatine. And it sounds evil. What, is there a Chris on my shoulder here? What is this? What is this ugly head? No one would want to collect that. Who in their right mind would want to collect that? Nobody. Nobody. Uh-oh. Is that... Did we... Did... Well, um... It seems that we made it through, uh... The hype train. As well as cross the barrier for tonight's sub-goal. What did I think of Din Djarin? Well, Brother Bill... Uh, I... I think he was awesome. And then he got not so awesome. He was... He was really kind of out for himself. Uh, and then he became... You know, a really nice person with everybody. I don't like when people become nice people. I like when they stay, maybe not evil, but not so good. Hello, Asgardian Wookiee and Mark H and MC and everybody else. Hello, including Mang Mangomus. Merry Mangomus. Mas, if, if you know Spanish, you know that's more. We made it to 100%. On this level 5 hype train. I am going to walk barefoot on Lego bricks. Let me call for my granddaughter. Jedi! She can't hear. She needs to bring the bricks. Jedi! She says she's coming. I'm calling upon you to bring hither... The Lego bricks. Oh, wait, hang on. What is this ugly head? No 
Ne just get that the thingy whatever. I don't even know what that is. <clears throat> no problem, American Chris Hansen. Edward Ferguson fears the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. That's my Yoda impression. Ah, 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 ah. Thank you, my Jedi. Yes? I'm not going to say please because that's the nice thing to do. There will be no please spoken as I print these kyber crystals, yes? I can't, I'm, 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 I have to stay in character. I'm mean. I'm evil. It's what I do. Now, if Chris was here, he'd say, thank you. You are so kind. First comes the wedding ring, then comes the suffering. Oh, Mark H and NC, you are so droll. Ah, 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 ah. What? Yes. You, you can say that, sure. Go ahead. I'm going to prepare for my walking. I will first do the, the barefoot brick walk. And then, ow, oh, I will pull a muscle. <laughs> Not good. Especially tomorrow, I've got a full day of work, even on a Sunday. Thank you, hang on. Hello, Westry One. Hopefully, Focus has gotten back to you. I have, no, I haven't even had a chance to eat the cereal yet. We jumped right into a hate train. All right, hang on. There is, uh oh, what did I drop? Oh, I dropped the uh, stormtrooper there. Do we have, yes, we have an area cleared. Oops, sorry about dropping the mic. We had a mic drop there. Mic. Yes, mic. wearing the uh... okay emperor palpatine i am going to do this first mike yes mike just call me mike not sheev yes edward here we go all right i'm going to walk now on the lego bricks and then we will force chris to walk on the lego bricks since you helped us get through the hype train and the sub girl he broke a sweat all right I'm going to get Chris and then Chris is going to do it do it he's going to do it I sound like Chris well thank you very much thank you very much I will add them I am all not all right what I'm going I've got to go get Chris what's going on what I don't want to have to
well. Uh, that happened. Ugh. Ouch. <laughs> no breaking his skin. Nobody wants to collect my face. There we go. And a Lego off. That's right. Ow. Ow. Thank you, everybody, for helping us get through the uh, the hype train uh, and 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 beyond the sub goal for for for, for now. And that 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 always consistently seems because it cha every day it changes. Uh, and thank you for whatever it's worth to Casey Special for the follow. Welcome to the play shop. Hope you enjoy your time here. We're geeking out about one thing or another at any given point. Uh, hello, Hutch's Maker Space. Hello, everybody. Everybody, if I didn't shout you out, uh, then I, it was not intentional. This is something that I almost broke. This is the second one I had to print because the first one I printed, unfortunately, and this isn't really for a screen grab, uh, but uh, it snapped at the bottom because the way I took it off the plate, it broke on the foot. But the low poly models with the silk filaments are perfect. It's almost like a disco ball. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah? What? The low poly with the filament? Big Jano, I, I gotta find more Star Wars low polys. Hey, Shriku! Shout out to Shriku. Um... There's a few low poly, uh, or a, a few of those silk filaments I found. Christy linked me off on um, on Amazon. I just haven't purchased them. I haven't gone through and, and purchased them. I, I I probably will at some point. Hello, sour, not hardcore, which is good to know. You know, if you were sour, but not at the same time, not hardcore. Welcome to the play shop. Glad to have you here. We're geeking out, having fun. Just went through a level five hype train. Past our sub goal, printing out some kyber crystals to fuel lightsabers in this perfect gurple filament. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? This little shine. Yeah. Hope you like Star Wars, one and all. Because if not, uh, this is going to be a very, very, very long stream. Like, extremely uh, there can, there can be only girl. that's right, Gurple, not pulled, Gurple. I, Star, what? Hang on, okay, dude, you're like, you're caught, I'm like, you were giving me stress. You're out of here, like, I've never, honestly, I gotta say, of all, of anybody who's ever visited this stream, they've never seen it, and said, Star Wars, I'm out of here. Usually it's the opposite, like, ooh, what do you got, what do you got, what, what are you into, what, what's going on? Uh, so, well, I can show you what's going on. Today... I've got a new comic. Oh, this is not ready for a screen grab. Uh, Bounty Hunters. Issue 20? Yeah? Issue 20? Current from Marvel? Nice. Very nice. Oh! Faulty Sorry. Giant just resubscribed for four months. Thank you, Faulty Giant, for the resubscription. I have failed you. I have failed you, Anakin. Sour Not Hardcore wins. You win this round. You're correct. That's... General Kenobi. Hello. Hello there. Right? Another happy land. I mean, come on. Just like, cannot wait for the Kenobi series. I am like melting down waiting for the Kenobi series. Now that the Book of Boba Fett is like starting to wind down, I'm ready for the next. Let's go next. Uh, today, I don't think I have any new uh, vintage Star Wars figures, but I got the uh, the Tusken Raider cleaned up. The Tusken Raider figure. This is my era of Star Wars. Hey, Darth Gallum. Good to see you. Shout out to Darth Gallum. Darth Gallum is going to be starting to stream here on Twitch and very happy to help fuel that. One of the things that I'm going to be opening after tonight's cereal, since it's Saturday. Look at this. Duncan Mocha Latte. No joke. I picked out the marshmallows. I'm vegan. Picked out the marshmallows, so now it's a vegan cereal, and I'm telling you, this is a coffee cereal. A big fan, it's just a rumor that the High Republic series is coming, but the thing that I want to open tonight, at least this one, uh, the Queel Credit Collection. 
if only to have the Republic credit there. So I'm going to be opening this tonight. That is the plan as the uh, Kyber Crystals finish. And then before I print something else, I may have to actually adjust the printer. I've been meaning to adjust the probe, the probe droid, if you will. Uh, I uh, also, tonight, possibly, no promises, but I also have a Darth Revan to open. Uh, Kurt, I will clean. I will clean the view as soon as we get done pouring the cereal, eating the cereal, enjoying the cereal. Unfortunately, I do not have enough here to share with the class, but maybe one day we can do something on Twitch where I can, I can like, you know, share it with you. I, I can, I can say, you know, ah, 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 ah. Look, that, sorry, that sounded like Emperor Palpatine, did it not? You just, hang on. Hang on, let me ask. Sour Not Hardcore. Did you catch Emperor Palpatine when he was just here a few minutes ago? Emperor Palpatine was just here. You may have missed it. Came in with the uh, the hype train that we had. See this bit? these bits? I'm not sure if Sour Not Hardcore has ever seen any physical bits. But I got him. Right there. Boom. You missed it? Hang on just a second. Let me see. Just, just because Sour Not Hardcore is here... Let me see if I can get Emperor Palpatine for you. Hey, Palpy! Palpy, you wanna you wanna come and do this? No, I know it's not a hype train. It doesn't happen that quickly again. You wanna come in? You wanna say hello? We get we, we got someone new wanting to say hello to him here. You, he's a little shy. Hang on. Come on, do this! You're embarrassing me in front of my friends! Emperor Palpatine! Why? Because he's not wanting to come out! Palpy, come on, do this for me. Come on. Please. Please. Wait, are you even happy? I do not know why I have been asked to return here. Yeah. You either? You've heard of Return of the Jedi. This is the return of the Sith. Ah, 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 ah. I'm only doing this because Chris pretty pleased so of course ah uh, was that a tony stark reference but i think he says wizard instead of friend it is possible although in star wars it is okay to say wizard din Djarin did that in a previous episode frank valder uh i am not your father unless uh there was a detail that i missed at some point in the past. Ah, 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 ah. You want to blow your mind? I've had grandchildren. Yes, Ray is my granddaughter. Ah, 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 ah. Woo! You start to break a sweat in this. I'm not joking. When I, when I disappear into the force and get connected to all the tubes over there. Chris will bring this back and show you my cloak here, made of wool. Ah, ah, whoop. Sorry, you saw you saw my nose there. You see my, you can see my nose. That's right. I, I have a nose and a mouth. Ah, 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 ah. Mhm. Mm yes, indeed. You need to find some Star Wars silicon molds. Yes, Hannah. Do it. Do it. Uh, I can shoot lightning from my fingertips. I can. It is possible. In fact, I thought I didn't. I have I had something around here that was like lightning. Um, no, they're not wanting to go right now. The Seattle weather. Weather? Can I even? Well, yes. There, there's a Freudian slip. The Seattle weather is not cooperating. It is very moist, very humid. Excuse me, everybody. I get very gassy when someone asks me about uh, if I can shoot lightning out of my fingertips. I can do it. Do it. Uh, but, you know, not with the humidity here. I'm looking here at my temperature-ometer. That's the, that's the technical term for me keeping an eye on moisture here. Uh, yeah, see, at 34%, still uh, too humid in the air. Still way too... I've got a stretch. Fair enough, I will stretch. Uh, you don't believe in Santas? Some don't believe it. It's true. 
go to the corner? Are you serious? I've got to go. I was. Ju I just came back. I have. I. Chris hasn't even eaten his cereal for tonight. Seriously? All right. I. I guess I have to go to the corner then, until someone cheers or gives a sub or subs or tips. Since the free heathen redeemed go to the corner, well, I'm going to go to the corner and I'm going to start pouring and maybe even eating some of Chris's cereal. Ah, 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 ah. I better, better not talk though, because I, I have to hear what's going on, because I don't have a headset on. Mmm, coffee cereal. Mm. Man, this is just, oh. It smells of coffee. Yes, it does. Yes, coffee. Hopefully Chris will be able to sleep tonight. I really hope he can. This is probably the worst night to ever eat coffee cereal. But he's going to do it anyway. This, this is what, this is what Chris looks like, by the way. When you're not, when he's not streaming, he looks exactly like this. This is who he looks like. Do not be surprised. Okay, I'm in the corner. I'm going to, I'm going to pour, I, I need to pour the milk now. Right? The almond milk. Ow, almonds, folks. I'm sitting in the corner here. Ow. You can barely see me, I'm sure. Eating, eating the cereal in the corner. Chris is going to be very upset. Right. Uh, ow! Oh my arm. Very good. Right. Eating Chris's cereal. Mmm. Chocolate coffee cereal. This is some good stuff. Eh, 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 eh. See anything in this? Mmm. Kurt Grosser Cheer Dex 100. Palby smells. I do not smell, Kurt. I do not. I lost my sense of smell. Which is very true. All right, I'm going to go get Chris back. He's going to find out I started eating his cereal. Ah, 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 ah. Dude, Palpy, really? Seriously? I... Leave you, you, you... What an evil person. What an evil person. Do you, do you think he has cooties? Trying to eat... Yeah, I'm tasting a little bit of backwash here. That was Palpy. Sour, not hardcore. Palpy is, he's, he, 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 I'd say he's a friend of this stream. That's a bit of a stretch. Oh yeah, I do see false teeth in here. No, I thought I picked out all the marshmallows. I will say this. If you ever wanted to have a coffee cereal, um, this is it. This is real. This is it. It's it's coffee chocolate. It's it's a chocolate. It's it's a mocha cereal. You don't even need the marshmallows for this to be good. So I got it on sale because there's no way I was gonna pay full price for this. No, where did I put the box? I didn't put the box anywhere. Where did Palpy put the box? Dunkin' Donuts cereal. You can pick out the marshmallows, make it vegan, under two dollars, on sale. Very happy. Oh, Jedi's come for hers. Jedi's gonna have some coffee and chocolate right before bedtime. Huh? How's that for good parenting? Yeah? Y you feeling me? Uh, no thank you. With my stomach doesn't do good with coffee. You know, it's it's a very it's a hint of coffee, but I'll say this. You know how I complain about the chocolate cereals we've tried on Saturdays before, in that they don't turn the milk like brown chocolate. This is definitely the, the 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 milk is getting chocolate brown. Mmm. It's good. AJ Eversol. 
says, I was watching the Clone Wars, seeing a late notification, you're on Twitch. Clone Wars is such a great series. I told you. I told you. You need to watch the Clone Wars. You need to watch Rebels. You need to watch the Bad Batch. If you like what's happening in the Book of Boba Fett, if you liked what's happening in the in the Mandalorian, forget the movies for a second, right? There's a lot of good Star Wars, and especially when you've got Dave Filoni involved. Especially with Filoni. All those series, forget that they're cartoons. Watch them. Good storytelling. Really good. Big sports fan, I'm doing well. Count Chocula cereal all the way. I think I have like one Count Chocula box to get to. Mm. This sogs up pretty quickly. And then honestly, it loses its flavor. By the way, Faulty Giant, thank you for resubscribing. Really appreciate that support. You've been here for four months. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. Mystery Goat asks, where do I get the discounted cereals at? You gotta shop at a variety of places. Um, and, and look in various spots. Uh, I've got a couple of Kroger stores that'll sometimes have them discounted. I've gone to, um, well, we no longer have a Big Lots, but I'd only get the cereal on clearance there. Um, Target rarely has the cereals on sale. Um, grocery outlet at times. You just kind of have to keep your eye out, right? For discounts and bulk deals. Rarely have I paid full price. Um, oh, Sky's the Limit's got a question about 3D printing. All right, Liz, thank you for point pointing him to the Discord. Forget them. Okay, Mighty Bean, I wasn't saying forget the movies. I was saying sideline the movies for a second and, ex and, and enjoy what else is laid out there with the Star Wars fandom. Bad Batch up next. Awesome. It'll be a good show. Sour Not Hardcore says, funny thing, I actually heard you about, about you, heard of you about 10 years ago when I was following some tutorial on your site. Just found out you streamed because I was watching Ordinary Adventures. Yes! Peter! We were both there at uh, Galaxy's Edge opening weekend. It is true. It is very true. Um, he doesn't stream on Twitch though, sadly. And I say sadly because I'm trying to pull more people to stream on Twitch. I have been for quite some time because it just makes it easier. I'm, I am I love live streaming, always love live streaming, never was a really good YouTuber. And I'm on Twitch now every night, 6 p.m., geeking out about one thing or another, sometimes cereal, sometimes toys, most of the time Star Wars, 3D printing. So yeah, we, we've known each other for quite some time. Sour Not Hardcore. We have. Revy 2K notes. Agreed, especially if you're not a prequel fan. Clone Wars adds so much depth. It does. It absolutely does. Uh, and you drew one of their art pieces. I'm not sure if I've drawn one of their art pieces. Not that I know of. Mmm. Look at this, Sour Not Hardcore. Mighty Bean says I pulled them in. So they're going to be streaming here on Twitch. The Free Heathen says I stream because of you, me. Which is awesome. And we're not just saying that. It's for real. I actually, uh, I, I applied, and I mentioned this to the stream the other day, I applied for Twitch ambassadorship the other day. Someone, um, uh, Ash said hi, kind of recommended it. I'm like, yeah, why not? That'd be fun. I did. I actually, enough people keep, kept asking me about it. Enough people kept asking me that I basically compiled like 60 quick Twitch tips. Not like a how-to, but more of a why-to to help people get started in understanding the value of what they're doing when they're streaming. So I submitted. I probably didn't say everything I needed to say, but I did. It's probably gone into the pit bucket. I'm sure they get a lot of requests. But I'm like, all right, might as well. I'm helping people do it anyway. Speaking of, I'm not joking. Sour Not Hardcore. When I said, Ash said hi, su suggested it to me, there she is. For real. I, it's for real. 3D Printing Llama says, think all, uh, 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 think, think all us group of 3D printer folk who recently started because of you and DB3D Dan pretty much. Well, that's awesome. And look at this, Ash said hi, Brother Bill, Brother Bill, Ash said hi, it's good to see both of you here at the same time. 
because I'm pretty sure uh, Brother Bill came on my radar on Twitch because of uh, the Ash Said Hi, was it, was it a stream that we were both in? So there's the badge. Save 40% on food at Grocery Alley. You can. So, Ash, here's this week's cereal. Dunkin' Mocha Latte. Mmm. 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 Saturday. Saturday cereal. Ash said hi. You know. But I had to pull out the marshmallows. Because th that would mean that they are not vegan. Hey, not no good. Good to see ya. Mmm. And this is good. It's like it's it's like coffee cereal, although the the chocolate kind of wicks off pretty quickly. The digital pile of leaves lines up with your bowl. It looks I am eating leaves, kind of. Yeah, um, I gotta tell you. I haven't had a chance to get back down to uh, to Disneyland. Not not as close as, as Ordinary Adventures is, but I, I would probably have fallen into being a Disney live vlogger if I lived closer. I probably would have. For real. Uh, uh, sour, not hardcore. Sour? Uh, oops, just marshmallows giveaway coming up. No, no, we, we got rid of the marshmallows. And the reason that... Um, I like marshmallows in cereal, but it's just they have gelatin in them. So, hey, Deuce Falcon. Good to see you here. Seems like a great hobby or job to do. Honestly, Sour Not Hardcore. When I started live streaming uh, in the Ustream days, when Twitch was just in TV, that's when I set up my Twitch account. So my Twitch account is 14, 15 years old. Something like that, my account age. Um, I really didn't start streaming on Twitch in earnest until last year because I'm not really a gamer. I'll do some retro stuff sometimes and sometimes some modern games if it's Star Wars or something that catches interest. Uh, but um, I've always been more of a fan of the, the streaming kind of content creation, personally. Ash said hi, asks how I'm doing. Uh, today was a normal day. It was a good day. Tomorrow is going to be a very busy day. I'm working on a project, and I'm going to have to get up tomorrow at 6 a.m. I should be here tomorrow at my normal time. If, if that isn't the case, I'll probably be tweeting and saying I won't be able to make it on time. We will see. Uh, you made yours in 2008. Well, that's still pretty early on, Sour. That's very early on. But I didn't stream on Justin because I was using Ustream. I actually sat on Ustream's advisory board. So I liked Ustream's direction a little more. And then, of course, Justin pivoted to esports or, or gaming. And I'm not, I, I never really played video games. At least in the same way. And one of the reasons why is because of licensing. I'm like, I don't own the content. I don't own the music. I don't own the visuals. I'm like, I'm a little, I'm ca I was always cautious about that. I'm always cautious about copyright and all that. So um, I didn't I, I didn't do it and send and then um, over the past couple years, Twitch has basically made it more acceptable to do just chatting and just hanging out. Makers and crafting, so 3D printing fits in, or brick building, like the Lego stuff. So Twitch started to feel more like a home, and I started streaming in earnest a year about a year ago. On Twitch. So I, honestly, I, I've been using Twitch for, I've known, I've been on Twitch for years, eons. But really, I, I, I consider myself more of a, despite the, the longevity, uh, really having streamed on Twitch um, primarily over the past year. Twitch has gone full circle, back to the JTV days. It's like a pendulum, but you know what? I, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I'm happy. I'm very happy because I would have nowhere else to go. And, and YouTube is not it. Having streamed on YouTube, YouTube is not it. And not because the technology doesn't exist. It's that the culture just doesn't exist. Like on, on, on YouTube, everything's in a silo. Like you can't raid someone right now. And even if you could, it, it each channel is, is unto themselves. Like YouTube doesn't optimize for live streams. You can live stream in your channel, but people don't know you're live. 
You know, they just, they just don't know. And even if they showed up when they knew, they didn't get a notification. They just missed this stuff. You don't go to YouTube to browse live video. Twitch is all live video, so you know what you're signing up for. You know what you're getting. And that, to me, is the biggest uh, the biggest uh, value of, of Twitch uh, over... Um, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Twitch over YouTube. By the way, Ash, this is what I printed today. Uh, a gurple, gold, purple, stormtrooper, low poly in that wacky filament. This is what I did. I'm printing some kyber crystals right now, Ash. That's actually what I'm doing. Some kyber crystals. Easy to easy to do. I actually angle them in different. I, I figured while I've got enough filament, I'm going to do a lot of them because they're kind of they'd be really cool in this silk filament. So those will be done here real soon, very soon. Um, sour notes that I hit it right on the nose. I've been doing this long enough that if I didn't understand it, it's not about the feature; it's the implementation. I'll say that again and again and again. Uh, to me, the community is a lot stronger here. The, the foundation for community is a lot stronger here on Twitch. I don't have to, I, I don't have, I have to put forth an effort, but that effort isn't hindered by a quote unquote algorithm. And I'm not saying Twitch doesn't have an algorithm. I don't know. I don't work for Twitch, unlike some people. Um, but in many ways on Twitch, the algorithm is me. It's about who I'm connecting with. It's about the connections that I make for other people. It's about where I spend my time and who I spend my time with. And that's, there's a direct return on investment of those legitimate relationships that I'm building that reflects back upon what it is that I'm, I'm able to enjoy when I'm streaming. You don't get the same thing on YouTube. You just don't. It's, 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 it's almost a polar opposite. And that's what so many people just miss when it comes to YouTube versus Twitch. They, everyone misses it. They don't, I don't think they understand, despite how many times I describe it. Uh, Big Jano, another streamer here on Twitch. YouTube's been focusing on live streaming more and more for gamers, not just chatting or anything besides gaming. You know, maybe one day they'll, they'll switch their algorithm. And by the way, another shout out to Big Jano. I know I gave you a shout out at the beginning of the stream and to Astro Printer who just popped in. I lost my race. Oh my God, Astro Printer. Thank you for reminding me. I need to shave tonight. For my project tomorrow, I need to shave. Oh man, I almost forgot. Thank you so much. I'm gonna make a note for myself. I am. Uh, Ash, you probably would love 3D printing. Just got my neighbor into it with, because we're, I, I'm in, by the way, we're probably going to be giving away another 3D printer at some point over the next little while. I'd like to do more uh, printer giveaways and, and, and filament giveaways. That'd be a lot of fun, but it takes building relationships, right? Getting them to, to buy off. Uh, I have a note here, shave. I need to shave. This, I'm no joke. I need to do this. Because otherwise, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm like, oh, no. Like, I need to shave. I need the time. I need the time. <laughs> Big Jano says, YouTube feels so rigid in its environment. Twitch is so laid back and you can be yourself. Yeah, and that's the thing is on Twitch, people feel like they can drift in and out of a live stream and it's okay. Versus on YouTube, it's just much more, uh, yeah, you might be right, rigid or regimented. It's, it's a different feel. People don't browse live videos on, on, on YouTube my, like they do uh, on Twitch. <clears throat> when I think about the YouTubers stream on YouTube and broadcast the same exact stream on Twitch, I think it's a mistake. I think you should uh, just stream to one platform over another. And this is after me experimenting with it as well, because otherwise you're fragmenting your community. Uh, for example, you know, here on Twitch, we had a level five hype train. We got sub goals. That doesn't work. If I'm streaming on Twitch and Facebook and YouTube at the same time, it just doesn't make any sense. Like you're, you're on one community platform and I got to use the tools as they exist for this one platform. Is my neighbor focusing? He should, Big Jano, although he says he's going to, he's going to ease into it. He was a little overwhelmed. Like he wasn't sure and I wasn't trying to overwhelm him with anything. I'm like, well, this is what you have to do and you're gonna make mistakes and this and this and this and this and this. Brother Bill says we can send you some razors. I have an electric razor. I'm good on that front, on that front. Uh, YouTube just announced they're going to help the community by limiting the amount of viewers in popular streams. So unless you have subs, you only get wide viewers. It's a joke. Dues Falchion, YouTube doesn't understand. They don't, people just don't. I swear to gosh, I, I, I say this and people don't, they don't listen to me. When I said, stop, okay, YouTube may change the game. YouTube may do something different tomorrow. They may do something different next week, and my opinion will change. 
But if you are wait, if, if you are spending your time streaming on YouTube, I'm telling you, you could make the same effort in streaming on Twitch, and the return you get will be substantially higher. Substantially higher. Because let me tell you, I, I pulled numbers bigger than numbers, right? I pulled the, 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 the I would say, higher numbers on YouTube, so it's not, and, and, and then had less of a return. And, and so that hasn't changed. So put your efforts into something that's going to provide you, you know, that return, whatever that return happens to be. And to me, the return is when people return, when I get to know everybody's name and, 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 and sometimes, you know, their background and what they do. So, uh, yeah, I, I've got my opinions. I, I definitely do have my opinions on a lot of uh, on a lot of these platform plays. On 3D printers, don't have opinions. Although someone mentioned last night, I think it was New Future Tech, that he's going to be getting an Ender 2. Ender 2? S1? Compare, was it New Future Tech? You were doing that? Um, and I did some research. I'm not sure how it compares to uh, the uh, the Prusa Mini, but, um, oh, the Ender 3 S1, Ender 3 S1. How it compares to the Mini, I mean, if, if it was comparable, I consider sending my Mini on to my brother and then getting an S1, but I don't know. I don't know about the electronics. I don't know about the quality. I don't know how well it compares. So I was trying to watch uh, Brian Vines, who was here last night, probably because Loyal was streaming, but Brian was here last night, and I watched a part of his review. It was so technical, though, and I'm not a technical guy. I know, irony. I'm not. Uh, since Meta stock crashed last week, they're going to focus on making TikTok now. That's a horrible idea. TikTok's doing TikTok well. No one's going to move off of TikTok. Nobody. TikTok hasn't screwed up. And Facebook, I tell you, I, don't, I know they're calling themselves Meta, but Facebook has never been kind to creators. Uh, in my humble uh, opinion, in my experience, they've never been good to creators. I'd go as far as to say YouTube has been fine with creators, but... They don't always think in the creator's best interests. <clears throat> if you have an issue with any Ender communities, you're only support. Oh, yeah. Fine was the original TikTok and Twitter ruined it. Totally agree, RC Maniac. Facebook's information vacuum not for people. Ender 3 S1, larger build area compared to the Mini. It is a larger build area, which is fine. It's the, it's the, like, the fact it's got auto bed leveling. I like the bar ID on the top, being able to get the filament off the table. So I, I think I can accommodate it in this space. If you get stuck with an Ender, well, I, I'm just not sure of the quality. With Prusa, it hasn't been a question. Maybe if I find someone over there for some kind of review unit, it would be possible. But I, 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 I'm not a reviewer. I just use this stuff. Hey, Tactile, good to see you. See, Travis, you as well. Welcome back to the Play Shop. It is a direct drive. And Manor Mutant, I gotta tell you, that is a very compelling upgrade reason for me. A direct drive. Hey, Mike Linux NL, good to see you again. I don't know what a rat rig is. Amazon, you get it in two days. Return at 30 with Prime. Yeah, I'm not going to do TPU. I'm sticking with PLA. I'm happy with that. I am definitely not a mechanical nerd. I know Krusty says to me, he said, oh, you are. You just need to, you need to decide. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. I'm really bad with this stuff. I'm not skilled with this stuff. Thank you, Liz, for the reminders. You are a wonderful human being. Sour Not Hardcore just subscribed. Sour Not Hardcore, thank you for the faith. Thank you for the support. Really appreciate that. Welcome, truly. Welcome to the Play Shop. I am here every night at 6 p.m. And the thing is, Sour Not Hardcore, even if tonight you're thinking, you know, started off on the right foot, kind of got into this weird territory, and honestly, I'm not liking where he is right now. This guy, I don't, what is it? Tomorrow will be completely different. A lot of similarities. But inevitably, every day around here is dictated by things people say or the things people do or people who pop in and, 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 and this, that, and the other things. So that's my stream. That's that's why I love it. Uh, so now I did promise. I promised. Did, didn't I promise? One of the things I need to do is is level my bed I, 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 in the probe. And so I'm, I'm, I'm possibly doing this tonight during the stream possibly no promises you had no idea i like star wars oh you love star yeah <laughs> funny funny uh you you will you will soon enough for sure 
The, uh, free Heathen definitely knows every show is different. A direct drive is not always a good thing. Slow down print speeds as the inertia of direct drive moving to speed. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't have any exp I need to get... I need What I need to do is be able to justify... Maybe one day the streams, they will evolve. And I'll, I'll be able to justify moving into a, a dedicated space for the streams. Like a warehouse kind of environment. It should be a little less intimate. But with multiple printers. I know some people have that right now. But our garage is not is not set up for, for something like that. Hard to beat the reliability of the Mini. I, you know, I, I've been enjoying it. I know I need to maintain it better. I've had layer line issues that I've, I've tried to mitigate, but it, it, I, I figure out what's going on with that. Maybe that'll be a troubleshooting issue, or, or a troubleshooting night. So I did promise we would open a quill. Quill, I have spoken. I do a, de I do a decent quill and a decent Yoda. Not a great Palpatine. Some of us have a few. Yeah, Astro Printer, I know. But I don't really have a dedicated room. I'm not even sure I could requisition a room here, at least today, for 3D, pr 3D printing stuff. So we've got... Da -da 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 -da. So, y'all have 3D printers. I just have Star Wars stuff. I have spoken. So this quill is different because of the, the paint app. Uh, this quill black series has been released before, but uh, this one is specifically, uh, you know, designed much like the, uh, um, uh, the, the, the art that, that happens at the end of The Mandalorian. The, uh, the show art, what, not show art, but uh, what's it called? The concept art? Or did they give the designers or whatever? Uh, but anyway, this is that quill. Quill! I have opened! Ah? Uh, yeah, this is good. I have opened. I thought it was funny. Y'all want to see what I'm possibly doing tomorrow? And I think if I do it right and I wake up early tomorrow, I'm going to get it started. You ready to see what I'm going to work on tomorrow? I hope this... I hope I pull it up correctly. Give me a second. Let me try this. Yes, it is the Wexter Flexi uh, Job of the Hut. So, for those of you who are not familiar with Flexi, hang on. Y'all still, you still, y'all still with me? Y'all still, y'all still there? I realize it's really choppy because it's like a 3D intense uh, application, but uh, this is. This is what I'm printing. Oh, no, no, no. Sour Not Hardcore, just wait. I don't know if Ash is still here, but just you... Everybody, just you wait until this is done. Because this is at 75%, so it'll take approximately 12 hours. I didn't want to do it overnight. I kind of wanted to keep an eye on it, if only because I wanted to make sure adhesion was okay, which is one of the reasons why uh, I was thinking about like setting up the probe again and doing doing getting this going before doing this uh because adhesion would be a concern it's true so that's that's what i'm going to be doing tomorrow i think possibly maybe maybe but i don't know hello there woody welcome to the play shop uh and and, and thank you job of the hut it is it's going to be a print-in-place job of the hut, Bill. Uh, and, uh, like I said, my concern... If you're having layer issues, you may run into issues with flexi-in-place prints. I I've done flexi prints before. Oops, moved the job. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. Let's see if I can get it back. Here, I'll just press 1. There's overhead, underneath. There's side, side... All the views. So, like I said, I'm a little concerned about uh, adhesion, and I'm not—I don't want to do a raft necessarily. It was suggested. I, he said I could, but um, he wasn't sure how well a raft would work in it with it. But if I'm not able to get the uh, this particular plate adjusted with the probe. Uh, I, I may not have much of a choice because I've tried using the ulti stick and this is a big print to try on this for the first time. 
So I may end up using, or I may end up printing this, starting it tomorrow morning, and then uh, effectively um, uh, watching it all day to make sure it doesn't slide around. I'll be using a different filament. I think I, I, there's no way I've got enough gurple, the gold purple that I'm printing right now. Uh, but that, I theoretically, if everything works as expected, theoretically, tomorrow evening I will have uh, a Wexter's Java Flexi. Because that's what's cool about this, is that uh, for people who are not familiar with this type of model, it's, it's a flexi print, so which means it, it, it basically has moving parts, but it prints in place. It's pretty wild. Like it's it when when it actually works, it's it's it is wild. So yeah, I'm very excited, very 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 excited for that. Uh, he sent it, uh, so I'm very happy that he. I'm I'm very happy that he, he gets his support, uh, or I I have his support. Very happy to get any kind of support from the integrator community. Uh, looks like his flexi is a better concept than the other flexies I've done. Amish Gnome 3D. I haven't done, I've done a few flexies, but honestly, many of them aren't as compelling to me. Uh, did we get an Aziz color? Sorry if I missed the color. I apologize. Let me know what color y'all were, you redeemed. I'll get that uh, turned on. Oh, I'm, I'm a Star Wars influencer, getting you to get more Star Wars figures, puzzles, and Lego sets. Well, I'm, I'm happy to say that. I'm happy to see that. I'm happy to say what I say. Although it's bad. Like, anytime I encourage anybody to get into Star Wars, if they weren't already into it, that means there's a chance that I'm going to lose some. I'm going to miss out on something because you're into it. Uh, Gurple. All right, we're going to go Gurple then. So we got our gold. To purple, purple, purple. There's your Gurple. Red doesn't show up very well back. So I've seen a lot of the, the the dragons. I hadn't done a dragon yet, if only because of adhesion. I would have to do it on a um, on on definitely have to do it on a raft, especially on the mini. Uh, but for now, what I'm going to try to uh, do is uh, potentially finish out the gurple tonight, or possibly sw swapping over and, and holding on to the gurple for now, uh, swapping over to another filament and putting the uh, chewbeki because I had the chewbeki kind of set to go. You've never done the slug? There's there's a few of them. It's been a while. I did the lizard early on. Have yet to do a dragon, even though the dragon, the they're print in place. So you take them off and then they they like articulate. It's wild. You don't have to put anything together. That's the best part about those types of prints. And I know nothing, or virtually nothing, about 3D printing. And the fact that I'm able to do this is 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 happy. You bought the Vader Lego Star Wars set today. Wanted to base it solely on seeing me put it together. Oh, nice, Coda 120. That's going to be one good-looking overgrown slug. It is Asgardian Wookiee. It's the one I want to print. So I'm doing it at 75% to get it to fit on the uh, on the printer. Uh, but could uh, potentially go smaller with it as well. We'll see how the first one turns out. You have a few of the dragons. I haven't done one. Just I mean, I've seen, I bought one and then just ultimately didn't I didn't get around to printing it. Because one thing came up, and then another thing came up, and then I knew if I wanted to print it, uh, I would need to use the, uh, or try to use the ulti stick. But I wouldn't risk doing it on the ulti stick until I knew it worked with smaller uh, prints. Which, to me, is is uh, uh, is kind of the, the shortcoming. Because I don't want to start printing something larger and then having it slide around. It, the problem I've had is that getting the, um, uh, it, it's, I can't get... I can't get the I can't get it low enough. Like it would only go so far. So I have to reset the probe. I have to readjust the probe. Don't forget to send me links to the laser work you want done. Astro printer, I, I have to find them as I run into them. I've run into certain uh, images that I think would be great, but I don't necessarily document them anywhere. Like oh, if I ever get a la uh, an, a laser printer, so to speak, or, or etched uh, etching type of printer, laser burner. Um, I found a few, but but nothing that's that that I have offhand. Every time I printed one, my niece would take it. They're amazing. Oh, the dragons! I believe it. Well, just wait until we do the Java. The Java is gonna be Java is gonna be good. I I assume that that is a guess. So I'm gonna do the Chewbeki. 
in uh, in another filament color after this. There we go. Did I get that snug? Snug info. So the next one, Chewbacca won't finish by the time I'm done, but. I, like, like I said, I, I probably have to like go looking for Star Wars laser types of prints, Astro Printer, and document them somewhere. I found a few coasters, or would-be coasters, that I think would be great. I have printed. Mando, I have printed. And these are almost done. These are 25 minutes left to go. And I ended up doing as many as I did, because normally I just do six at a time. But I did so many because of the uh, the finish of this particular filament. Gold, purple, and different angles. So uh, inevitably, I know I'm going to be giving these away. Just send the links. Black Slate, coaster, co Black slate Coasters look amazing. Um, like I said, I'd have to dig them up. Print you must. Filament you have. Filament is the path to the dark side. Yeah, pineapple's great. You want some milk? This is seriously, it'll it'll go quickly, but it's a good, it's a great smell it. So I get, like, like many of you know, I get a lot of this stuff on sale. I got, I, I, I'm getting, currently getting whole pineapples for 99 cents. This is good. Yeah. You don't want them too soon. So I save money on the fresh stuff, too. AJ says hi. Hi, AJ. Hmm? To you. Hey, Aveline. Aveline's here. Oh, come on. Split them up. I can't have them. She's taking my chocolate-covered espresso beans. Well, don't put them in the pocket. Get a, get a baggie. Are they no. You ran as fast as you could. Chocolate-covered pineapple is good. Mystery Goat finished the uh, probe droid. I've seen a few people put, put that together. See, Travis, I think, put together that probe droid. Avaline, what I'm printing right now is the, um, some, or is the, are the uh, kyber crystals. So I'm doing some kyber crystals in this purple color. Yes, indeed. What? There you go. See, she exists. <laughs> oh, Dad, let me say hi. Good try. <laughs> will, will those fit in Galaxy's Edge? I think New Future Tech, they will. They touched it. They touched it. I think they will. I know. Um, oh, good. I remembered correctly, see, Travis. I'm glad. Uh, Casey, the filament I'm using is a um, Matter Hackers Quantum filament. That was a, a gift of sorts. I won it in uh, the Zolons giveaway. But I believe there's even this kind of filament on um, Amazon. Non-branded. And I'd consider getting some. I'm going to put that on my wish list. Well, AJ Eversole, do you know the story of, of our daughter's name? I will regale you. I will bring everybody up to speed, even if you've already heard the story before.
Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the play shop, Art Ninja. Right now I'm just finishing up a, a print or a, a, of, a, a, of some kyber crystals. I've printed these kyber crystals in a variety of colors before. Never any color like this, though. Uh, Art Ninja, you must uh, do you stream on Twitch? Happy to give you a shout out. See, I've printed a few of these. Oh, I, Sour Not Hardcore has not heard the story of Jedi. See, I've done the, the plain crystals. This is this is basically the shape, the model, right? Including in this, this is a UV reactive filament here. Got a whole kyber, I've done a lot. Honestly, I haven't even done, all the filament that I've had, I haven't been consistent with printing in uh, in these different colors, but I've got a ton in this Death Star, see, this is a Death Star case. So here's the story. Uh, didn't know what she was gonna be called. I joked around, I said, what about LOL? E-L-L-E-O-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E -L -L -E. LOL? <laughs> LOL, I think it'd be hilarious. It looked French. It, it, lo it looked French. You tend to lurk, crystals are great. Art Ninja, trust me, these are fun. Especially in, in this, this um, they, there's a certain term for it. But anyway, yes, I'm printing kyber crystals tonight. Tomorrow will be a completely different, mostly different everything. So we weren't sure what we we're gonna call her, and uh, we we batted around a few ideas, including star. She was almost star. That that was on the table. We both agreed to that, and. Uh, he kept guessing, oh, no, we're not, that wasn't it. And I'm driving up the hill one day, and I started playing with with uh, letters, initials, because I'm an English major, right? That's I'm only I'm only qualified to teach nouns and verbs. And I thought, um, I uh, uh, I thought, okay, so my mom's name's Judy. Judy, J says J. What else do I have to play with? Elia. Okay, so I'm playing because we knew that Jedi at that point was going to be uh, she was going to be born um, a girl, right? And at least as far as her sex is concerned. And so I was like, okay, let me think about all the female names, the, the mother names in the family. So Judy, Elia, and then Diana. So I got J E D I. Immediately, like, immediately, before I even had a chance to think about it, immediately, less than a minute later, I'm dialing the phone. And I'm calling her the, the in favor, it's in the car. And I said, dude, I got it. I know, I know what her name's going to be. Jedi. Jedi. No, no, no. Here, this, your, my mom's name's Judy. Your mom's name, Elia. Your Diana, J-E-D. And figure, and I thought I could be, could have been anything, right? But J, Diana, D-I. So she was named after my mom, her mom, and her. Now you tell me, you tell me if there's a more perfect name than that. You tell me. You try to pull that off. So initially. Initially, um, we weren't sure what it was going to be, and she, she Diana kind of, I'm not going to say she pushed back, but uh, she's like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I'm like, no, dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And that was the moment. That was the moment. Cal I was sold. Man, oh, one just resubscribed for nine months. Thank you, Coleman, for your support. Very, very appreciated. Thank you for helping keep the Death Star spinning for one more day. Uh, the Force was definitely with me that day, Astro Printer. TC Jamie, it is a true story though. It's 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 for real. It is a real story. Uh, new future tech. Um, oh yeah, Mighty Bean, happy to give you a shout out. I'm happy to give if you if you stream here on Twitch. And by does Sour Not Hardcore stream on Twitch? It, does, it doesn't want to do it. H how can I do it with here? No. Yeah, it won't it won't let me do it. Try this. I've uh, been streaming since 2009. Also, Twitch pa partner before I was staffed. Nice! Oh, okay, so let's try that. Shout out. Sour. Ah, sour. Not hardcore. So then, do you game? 
if you were doing it actively. No problem. You don't even have to ask. You really don't. Once I get to know people and know that they stream on a regular basis, or they're just starting, seriously, happy to do it. Mainly just playing Overwatch. The only interest I have in Overwatch are the Lego sets. I'm, I'm what they call an adult fan of Lego. Oh, Sour Not Hardware. Sorry. I'm just going to say, can I just call you Sour? It's funny because there's someone else, and maybe you, someone else with a handle Sour who follows on, on, on this channel too. Sour has been here as well. I'm just going to say Sour. How about, how about we just do that? My old handle is horrible. Locker Gnome. Horrible. Your second stream will be tomorrow. Thanks for the document, Chris. Oh, no problem. Uh, Project 454 is talking about my Twitch tips that I just kind of scratched down. So there's a shout out to Project. <laughs> um, Coleman says, got some old Star Wars items from Grandma's house since she's passed when we're going through her house. I have to take a picture of them and you have first dibs. Really, Coleman? For real? Like, first of all, I am honored. Second of all, I, I, I'm I'm interested. Third of all, are you sure you don't want to keep them? Because that those are kind of they may very well be uh, heirlooms. So uh, sour. And anybody else who's not seen around this, this is like one room here. Your original name was so you're not hardcore. Oh, yeah, that can be tricky. I'm gonna pick up the uh, do I are, which view am I on? Let's let's flip to this view. Uh. So, yeah, when I say Star Wars, it's for real. Like, there's, it's not just, some people set up, uh, you know, their, their, uh, their environment to stream. And, uh, you know, uh, they have everything behind them. Like, they're trying to be cool. But, like, I'm, like, for real, legit. Like, it's not just this junk behind me. Like... It's, it's for including stuff that I've 3D printed, right? That's starting to make its way. So, uh, yeah, it's this is not just a set. It's just, it's this is where I've been building around. Sorry for making you dizzy if I am. Uh, other things I've 3D printed up there, some old, the, some vintage figures. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll move around too, but before I do, first let me do this, because I gotta make sure I can still see chat. Give me a second. Let me set that down for a second. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna move over a tiny bit because I can't see chat if I'm not in front of the screen. So, no problem for the shout out. Coleman says, just some old toys and Pez dispenser. Well, it depends. I mean, if you're talking vintage 70s, 80s, yeah, I'm interested. 90s stuff gets a little, um, it, it gets a little more common, but you never know, Coleman. Happy to, uh, happy to oblige. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to pick this up again. Sorry about that blinding light. There are the Lego bricks on the ground. You missed a, a barefoot brick walk sour. I think you joined afterwards. That's what those are doing down there. Uh, sorry if the... Uh, it's not exactly an HDR camera. There's more over there. More up there. There's the other side. There's where I'm sitting. Right There's the chat up on the screen. Might be 90s, no problem. Happy to take a look over here. More, more stuff. Oh, I need to pull that out. That's what I need to pull out. Um, I also have, depending on how old you are, you might remember Garbage Bell Kids from the 80s. My Garbage Bell Kids collection. I've got to re slot them, though. Definitely got to re slot them. My vintage collection of Garbage Bell Kids. Uh, that's the reason why this is out, is because I've been meaning to re Bottom. I've got new droids from the Galaxy's Edge that I've got to put away, but I'm waiting for a couple of people to get back. Uh, more stuff over here. Arcade cabinet needs to have a capacitor replaced. I need to find someone who can replace a capacitor in the PGA. And then over here as well. More over here. Did, did Sour pass out? More. Down there. Ewok, the Wookiees, Invaders, Guards. We have a raid from Brit! Sephold underscore Brit raided my stream with 25 viewers. Of the play shop here. I'm not necessarily zooming in on anything in particular. Sephold underscore Brit just resubscribed for 11 months. Thank you, Brit! I was in Brit's stream. If you love uh, Star Wars The Old Republic or 3D printing, you may want to give Brit a follow. So I've got some uh, vintage 
uh, vintage R2s. There's a sensor scope there and a regular one there. All these shelves are pretty much Vader, but they started. I've started to add other droids. So everyone, you've come along at the right time for a tour. A very brief. I haven't even gotten to the best part. Sour. I haven't even gotten to the best part. No, all these awesome little droids. Not the best part. These are awesome parts. I've got some original memorabilia there. Vader, 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 Vader. 3D printed those hologram figures up there. Give me a second. Sorry for making it shaky. Those little green hol uh, blue green holograms, all 3D printed figures. So I've done those. Apologies for the quality of the, uh, the camera here. Best I can do with what I got. Yeah, cereal talks. I'm very close. Sorry again for the blur. Now. Here's what I was, here's what I, I was gonna, here's where I was really gonna try it. So, are you, so Sour, are you, uh, are you familiar with Vintage? Sorry, I'm away from the mic. Vintage figures? That's the full run, complete with accessories, full run, condition C9 plus of, uh, Star Wars figures from the 80s, 70s and 80s, all the way through to Yak Face. So, yeah. Now, my first Star Wars figure, right there. That's my first one, right there. And then I, you know, so the ad at drivers are a bit of a chase, uh, but it's primarily Vader in here. Primarily. That's, that's just, honestly, that's just uh, one room. How many female figures do I own? Well, I have a few of them down below. Give me a second, I'll show you. All right, here we go. Back to the kyber crystals. So you raided at the perfect time there, Britt. Loyal's got a lot of catching up to you. That is true. So there you go, Sour. Just for you popping in tonight and subscribing tonight. Bonus little tour. And that's... You don't understand. That's just part of it. That's just part of it. There's more out there. Like, like when, when, when I get raided by a, uh, a, a, a brick streamer, someone who does Lego bricks, uh, I'll, I'll go to where we have a, a lot of Lego sets, not tons of them, but a lot of Lego minifigures. I collect minifigures. How long for me to dust uh, or clean the room? Well, I just decided years ago to collect dust. No problem. Watch. See that? That's vintage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's at least 10 years old right there. Mm -hmm. How many channel points do we need to redeem to get invited to a real life tour? Uh, I've done, it's been years. I used to do a lot of YouTube stuff. Not so much anymore. YouTube is demotivating. Twitch is energizing. YouTube is demotivating. Uh, we can try, do, you could get me off on this topic and trust me, people have and I will go on for hours talking about just how much YouTube has, has, has failed uh, creators and I'm sure some people would argue differently, but I just feel it's lost. It's the feel right I feel that YouTube has lost that spirit the thing that used to make it fun uh, Marshmallow man remembered. Oh, you must have been a patron uh, a patron to watch the house tour a long time ago That's right. I did. I did house tours the, the, It's definitely changed a lot has definitely changed a lot probably needs to be cleaned up Your daughter recognizes the kyber crystals. That is awesome Brit. Uh, well, maybe one day, and I, I don't, I think we're years off, because things, I, I, I would rather have things better cleaned up and organized before I did a, a, a tour like that again. I've done, I've done bits and pieces here and there, maybe at some point in the distant future, but, Sour, if you're lucky, and someone comes in, hasn't seen and heard about the Lego room with all the Lego minifigures, 
then I go and walk there and go, all right, here's these Lego minifigures. Kind of, it's it's a nickel tour, right? It's nothing quick, because I could easily, you know, point to an area and zoom in, and you would just get an eyeful no matter where you went. Uh, do those crystals have holes in them for a string? No, I'm sure that could be modeled though, Britt. I found a couple of Kyber crystal models out there, uh, but ultimately I, I I decided to just go with these as kind of like my standard. They're almost done. Um, oops. But it's it's the perfect filament color for this. Uh, Zach has seen it. You want to talk about an awesome brick streamer, Zach. Uh, and uh, of course, Britt. Uh, happy to give shout outs. So like, like I, I always worry because like even, even during the stream, right? I got stuff comes out, stuff is out. And I always feel weird, like just showing people a mess. I don't want to show people. I'd rather show them something. Oh, this is this is done. This is complete. This stuff, this part is still kind of coming together. This shelves or th these are this, that, and the other thing. Um, but I have done it before. And I'll take what I'll do is I'll use uh, OBS Ninja on my phone and then go around in the quad view and point that stuff out. Tell you what, I tell you what, Sour. I tell you what. Uh, I'll make a promise. You come back. And, and remind me, and then we'll go on a Lego room. To, you can, another day, you come back, we'll go on. We'll go into the Lego room together. A lot of people here have seen it. Uh, the the Lego room, for the lack of a better word. Thank you, Avaline. Been working on it for a while. Uh, a long while, a long time, a long time. Those crystals, not from the movie The Dark Crystal. No, Airwolf. These are modeled after Kyber crystals, though not perfect representations of the Kyber crystals. Uh, not like the Galaxy's Edge Kyber Crystals, of course. Uh, do I remember when my dad did the video of new version of Windows? Yep, I remember that. It was one of the viral videos that I've done. <clears throat> that was and that was uh, that was done live too, wasn't it? Oh, nice Marshmallow Man. That's very appreciated. That's very appreci I appreciate it. I appreciate having amazing supporters like you, Marshmallow Man. Very much so. Used to think you were a Star Wars fan, then you met me. Yeah, Astro Printer. Okay, I'm gonna write that down, Astro Printer. Find things for find Star Wars things for Astro Printer to laser. Laser. See, look at this. I d d does anybody wait, do I is that it's not the big view. You can't really tell. Give me a second. This is the type of pin I use, right? You see that? Do you see that R2-D2? He's at the bottom. It's a floating R2-D2 pin. Use the force. This is a Star Wars Celebration pin. I got all the goodies. Shouldn't have sniffed that dust. Should have left it on the shelf. Laser prints. I'm just writing it down. I don't. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it immediately. Tomorrow's going to be a very busy day for me with the project. And I can't talk about it now. But when I can talk about it, y'all will be like bowled over, genuinely like excited when you find out. If you find out, because I can't really talk about it right now. And then of course Monday, it's back to work, back to the grind. But, you know, I'll be live again every night, 6 p.m., naturally. Not going anywhere. At least that's not the plan. Yeah, I, uh, um, I'm about to hit a very busy period at work. You know, I went, uh, you, speaking of Twitch and working at Twitch, I, uh, before I went to, to Intel, I actually sat down with uh, someone at Twitch. They never really went anywhere because I wasn't sure where it was going to go or what, what Twitch needed. But the more I learn about Twitch, just as a user, I got questions. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. Hmm. Don't talk about Monday. I know, Avaline, you're, you're closer to Monday over there in India. I, uh, trust me, mon my Monday is going to be, it is definitely good. Let me put it this way. I've got, I'm not just looking for a week, uh, towards a week full of Mondays. It's going to be 
it's gonna be like months. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna have a Friday for months. I'm not, I, weekends I'll have, but Fridays, I don't know. You got your first credit card to buy the Optimus Maximus keyboard after you rickrolled us with it? Did you get the Optimus Maximus, Marshmallow Man? I still have it. I can't find the uh, the adapter though, for some reason. I lost the adapter, so I don't, I don't know if it still works. Think you missed it before, pictures on Discord, Star Wars radar section. Oh, let me check, Coleman. Oh, TC Jamie, it's, uh, it is wild. It, it, it's going to be wild. Oh, you, I see you're posting pictures in Star Wars. Let me see here. So many awesome Star Wars radar posts from, most of them are pulled in from Reddit. It's a good way for me to kind of keep an eye on stuff. From Uno Memento, Por Favor. Oh yeah, those are definitely, yeah, those are, uh, those are more modern. I, I would probably, if those are the, the array, you might be able to sell them. To, to recoup some costs, I, I would pass on them. I, I, I have plenty of those. T, uh, Coleman, thank you. Okay, so we are done with these. Give me a second. And flip over to the quad view. Uh, the next thing I want to print is, what do I got in the Gurple? The ARF Trooper possibly? I don't know, I don't know if I have enough. Give me a second. Uh, do I have a P.O. box? I do. It's on my uh, profile page. It's on the profile. Uh, ARF? Really? Give me a second. I got to pull up. Oh, ATRT. I thought it was an ARF trooper. Talking to myself as I'm, I'm getting the next uh, item ready to, to print here. Because uh, while I've got enough gurple, this gurple filament, I kind of want to finish it out with a, at least a few more figures. Infill, we'll go 10%. Should be more than ample. Not 0.2. This is probably going to take me into the night. Try to think of any other filament that I want to do. And I don't think I can or will. What am I doing with all the crystals? Uh, I'm going to be holding on to them uh, and, and possibly doing, uh, it, when I send things out, putting them in the, the boxes that I send out. Thank you for the, the follow there, Thunderbuzz. Welcome to the play shop. I just finished some. Uh, I just finished these Kyber crystals. I'm going to be taking them off the uh, the printer here in a second. I'm just staging the next print that I would like to do. An, a trooper in this filament color. Definitely going to have to clean this plate, the sheet. Oh, it's going to take. Ooh. You know what? Should be able to just pop them off, and then after I uh, after I pull them up here, uh, I'm going to have to go through and uh, remove the brims. That's not going to take too long, though. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to export using the sneaker net, connecting the uh, USB stick. Are you dropping flex plate ASMR? Kind of. All right, so we're just going to pull off, pull these off first maybe hey crack pyrex good to see you so sith lord brit was asking and i think i answered this as fully as i could but like you know there are times that you know kids come over or i'm sending out a package um what i'll do is you know throw one of these crystals in there right or a crystal of a different color But if you wanted a good idea for for this kind of filament and what to use, what to you what to use it on, this is a really good idea. Are they purple? Are they gold? The answer is yes. So, uh, Thunderbuzz, what brings you in here tonight? 
sorry, you can't really see what I'm pulling off there. There you go. Put them over there. And yeah, I'll clean it just in case. Get it ready for the next set, the next go around. I'm printing, I'll be printing another figure. An, an ATRT driver. I want to say it's an, also known as an ARF trooper. Oh, you came from Brits Raid. Awesome. Appreciate that, Thunderbuzz. My nails are not as awesome as Brits. Brit has the Sith nails. I do not. I I, uh, I mentioned when she was showing off her nails, when she was doing her print and playing Minecraft. I'm like, I had I clipped my nails. That's what I do. I keep them trim on my side. Someone released the drop. Okay, hang on, just a second. What do I say? Start, drop. There you go. All right, four hours. Pretty sure I'm good there. Now, what do we got? We got, we're gonna pull these crystals apart. I'm gonna get the brims off. Thank you, Future, for the cheer. Knocking everybody off course there. Bloop, bloop. Y'all thought you were gonna win. <gasps> Whoa, someone got a good landing. Dude, dude got a decent landing there. Sith Nails? Sith Nails now has its own account? Is that, is that what you're saying, Krusty? Not to disappoint Krusty, but uh, tonight I'm not sure I want to mess around with the uh, rejiggering things. I'm getting into it. Just taking the brim off the, uh, the Gurple crystals. Uh, the nice thing about these uh, these crystals, though, oh, you brought a you bought a three D printer this week. Awesome! You've been watching quite a few three D printing streams since. That's great. Well, I tell you what, you keep hanging out here, and with Brit, you're gonna get to know a lot of the people in the three D printing community at large here on Twitch. For real, like we all tend to know each other and, and hang out with each other and help each other. So you're you're more than welcome. I, uh, I started 3D printing about a year ago, and so I, I know I could do better. People get on my case about it. I only have one 3D printer. Uh, and this, you definitely came to the right place. You definitely did. Um, everyone's trying to get something different out of it. We've given away 3D printers. We will likely give away more. Everyone else, like Brit, y'all like printing the big stuff. Me, I like the trinkety crap. <laughs> the kyber crystals. This is the this is the fun thing for me. Oh, a resin printer. Elegu. Nice. I would probably be better off with resin, given most of the things that I print are, are more um, suitable for resin. But I, I just have FDM. Very nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm still learning half the jargon when I hang out with everybody, and then I realize that just how little I actually know the more I hang out with people. But, you know, here's the thing. they I, I don't think I've ever been admonished for asking a question. I, I gotta say that, you know? I don't think there's, any, there's such a thing as a stupid question. I mean, people may mutter that under their breath, but I've asked some pretty stupid questions. And generally speaking, you know, everybody will answer honestly. Like, no, don't do that, or, well, think about doing this, or this, that, or the other thing, or possibly this, or do that. Or, here's what this is. So, I, I gotta say, at least the people that I've known, uh, like, Krusty has been a great guide. Astro Printer has definitely got a, a wealth of experience. Uh, Project 454 just print, finished. Oh, no. Oh, see, this is... Okay, so this is the problem with the Gurple. It's very... It's very uh, delicate. So I just cracked that kyber because there's no support or there's no uh, infill in any of these because you don't need them. You don't need the infill. But it's, it, this is very, uh, yeah. Some of these, I'm noticing structure wise. Yeah, see, that, that, that some of these did not print well. Let me check in here. Maybe I should have. Let me check. 
you're doing some resin printing now. Nice. Just finish your Prusa Mini build to replace your 11-year-old MakerBot. Nice. Yeah, so these turned out okay. Some of these turned out better than others. It could have been where they were printed on the bed. Those are okay. Some of these are questionable. This one seems to be a little loose. It's been put over there. You printed an N64 logo. Nice. Once you're, once you're going down that path, I'm telling you, forever will it dominate your destiny. Yeah, like I said, this silk filament, not exactly the sturdiest that I've ever printed with. Very, um, very delicate. Not that I expect to see a lot of issues specifically with the, uh, I'm just kind of giving, I'm giving it a little squeeze here. Increase the temp. Oh no, I'm, I'm at, I'm already at 225, dude. already about as hot as I want to go. I, and I dropped, I dropped a kyber crystal. Don't know where it went. It went somewhere. See, this one's kind of cracked too. Some of them fared better than others. That's okay. Printed enough of them. I'm not too worried about it. As long as I have a few good ones for my own collection, I'm happy. Okay. Silks are for show, not for strength. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning that. See, but some of these, this one, I can see, I, I can just see that it didn't, it, it cracked. So this is definitely a, I'm lear this is a learning experience for me. That's 3D, in a nutshell, that's 3D printing. It's a learning experience. Some people are far more dialed in and I am just all about the dumb luck. Emphasis on the dumb. Sub filaments are weak. How's that ironic though? Isn't that really appropriate? Silk is not very, well I guess, is silk strong? Yeah? I know nothing about textiles. These aren't too bad. That's not bad. Did I check my concentric nuts? I, I did. And they were very concentric earlier this evening. I had 0% infill. Correct. And honestly, I'm not sure they would have turned out any differently with infill. The, these, the, the ones that, that were weak and fell apart it probably would have exacerbated the problem. There's, it's pointless. You don't need to use infill. Like, they, they work without infill, and they didn't need supports. So it's just a, a quick way of getting through uh, any kind of filament in short order. Yeah, thank you, Astro Printer. Thank you for defending my concentric nuts. By the way, I, I have heard back from... Um, um, focus and uh, there is potentially another promotion on the horizon with them so stay tuned may very well be giving away another one of those i also reached out to a, a liaison at uh someone else reached out to me uh, oh uh polymaker followed last night here on twitch don't know if they're gonna be stopping by again at some point maybe we'll be able to do something with them they've been very friendly with loyal uh, and then um also uh any cubic? I don't know if you've ever had any experience with any cubic, but they reached out, asked if I wanted to do any reviews. I'm like, uh, what about maybe resin? I don't know how safe. I, I gotta ask all the experts. How safe would that resin printer be in an attached garage? Because that's the closest thing we have to an area that's that's ventilated. Always learning when it comes to printing, hardware, software, materials, modeling, finishing, great hobby, great community to be a part of. I totally agree. It'd be fine there. Thank you, Britt. Yes, and I, I think I know who you're dealing with at Anycubic. It's their, they, they DM'd me. They've started following me on Twitter. 
they seemed nice enough and ask, they asked me hey do you want do you, printers for you know like well i really don't i don't i do not um also i'll show for any cubic that's funny um the uh uh I mean, I don't know what would replace my mini from the any cubic range when I was doing research, like something that was as easy and convenient and fine. But like, in terms of uh, like, I think they've got like a 6K resin printer. I'm like, mm, interesting. Your resin printer's in an attached garage to like open the door. That's smart. Need a warm location for resin. Resin does not work well when it's cold. Needs to be around 20 degrees centigrade or Celsius. I'm not sure where that garage runs right now. Your non 6K Mono X? Mono X or Mono 10? Well, that's what I was looking at. I'm like, well, that would be kind of neat. But I told this person, I said, well, I don't do traditional reviews. It's like I never did a review of the Prusa here. I just print on it. So what, what I would likely do is, is have it set up. I don't know if I'd have a remote camera on it as it was printing, but like... When it was done printing, I would show off, okay, I printed this last night, and this is what this is, and I printed it on my whatever, blah, 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 and talk about it, but never really doing a review. And to me, that I feel is a better, um, I, I, a better way for me to do it, because otherwise I just don't, I'm, I don't know the lingo. I'm not a reviewer. I'm never going to be like a Brian Vines or a Joel Telling or, 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 or the like, but I am a streamer, right? It's just different. Then people come in and ask for experience, and then I tell them. If you finagle the printer, the washing cure station is a must. must. I know, dudes. I, I, I believe that as well. When I was looking, I'm like, well, maybe. I could figure, I could move a few things around in the garage, and I'd have a table for it. I'd have a space for it next to a, an outlet. So I can make it work. I could make it work. Potentially even space for an additional FDM. I don't know. Although, like I said, I'd like to try to find, if anything, a, a, a viable one that's got all like the bells and whistles, like the Prusa. Or maybe Prusa would be interested in, in, in passing along another. I mean, this is, in my humble opinion, this is the best review unit I've ever been sent because I've used it every day. And I've talked about it, and I've sold so many just by using it, and just by showing the output of what it is that I used. And that's my kind of, that's my kind of, uh, I, that's my kind of a review, right? If I'm using it, and I continue to use it. Oh, thank you, dues. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it immensely. Winter can be too cold for the garage. I'd have no other place to put it, though. That's the thing. It's either the garage or nothing. So I've got... I've got kyber crystals that are gold purple. Gurple. So I've got a few over here. These, are the, these ones are fine. Oops. These are okay. These I'm not really sure about, but these will make nice gifts. They came out okay. Yeah, see that one? Yeah, I'm not sure. That, it's too much. There's too much cracking on that one. Most resins need to be over 24C. Basement? I'm not sure. Basement I'm not sold on. Because I don't really, I mean, there would only be one space for it, but I'm just, I'm worried about the chemicals. I, honestly, I'm worried about the chemicals getting everywhere, right? Getting in places. Ultrasonic cleaner. I'd assume it's just a standard ultrasonic as opposed to a wash and cure station. I have no idea. Never done it before. Uh, I, I, uh, I don't know about the basement. The basement just, it, with the chemicals... There's, there, there, right now, the basement, there'd only be one viable place for it. And again, I just worry, because it's just the mess. 
That's my concern. Now, maybe at, maybe at some point... Nah, kitchenette's out, Liz. Trust me. No space. At some point... I might be able to move some stuff around, and it, it would be it would be possible. In in a certain, I, I know exactly where I could set up a, a series or a station for it in the basement, but not you know not with any uh, any uh, immediacy. Get a folding card table, set it up on silicone mat to put it down. We have a finished basement, so I'm not sure exactly how that would work. Yes, Liz does know the basement well. Oh, there's the cabaret crystals. There's the print. Our next print. Oops. This may end up taking me through all the gurple. I shouldn't run out. You say there's no mess, but I, I don't know. Use an enclosure with an extractor fan to draw out the fumes from the resin prints. Well, I, I wouldn't... We'd have to pipe it somewhere. That's the thing. They, they, these kyber crystals did turn out well. I'm pretty happy with them. Like, these, uh... They were... Here, let me go full on this. Right, there, the, the, there's the... If Brit's still here. Brit's probably admiring her awesome nails. Is it gold? Is it purple? So I've got a few of those. And I'm gonna grab one. Ah! And put it in my kyber crystal chamber. Slower. I'm sorry, slower. Don't want to like burn a hole in my hand. Do I have a kitchenette with a stove and extractor hood? No, I don't. And we're not going to set up a, that in the kitchen. That'd be. A little bizarre to have that in the kitchen. Although there, I, I probably think a good area underneath the cabinet. Print in the basement wipes very smell sensitive. Resin I use she does not complain about the smell. Oh, nice. Yes, don't burn fingers. That is not something I want to do. Ever. Garage is best. Kind of what I'm thinking, and I realize temperature may not be prime. It's an attached garage, so it's not as cold as it is outside. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Our sub-goal dropped a bit. We hit our sub-goal, and then we're back down again. Not gonna lie, I never really gave 3D printing a thought, now I'm considering buying one. Well, Sour, not hardcore, uh, there's a lot to consider. Uh, a lot. And, uh... Everyone's gonna have a different uh, answer. I don't. I'm not into hardware. I'm not a hardware guy. I'm more of a. If you ask me about tech, you know, I, I'm more software. But what I like is the uh, uh, is the output, like what you can do with it. And so it's a little. It's very. It's very much for hobbyists. Very much for people who uh, to like who might like to tinker. It's not um, you know in the box, out of the box, and you're off to the races. There are many things to consider. People, you're hearing some of it all the way down to filament right this filament that I'm using looks awesome it's great but it's very delicate it's very brittle as opposed to let's say uh, this type of filament it's they're both PLA that type of plastic so I mean it's it's plastic and you're burning plastic but as opposed to another type of plastic that's going to have more noxious toxic fumes it's generally Safe is the wrong word. Safer to be around, at least in, in this particular environment with the amount that I, and I'm only running one printer. Not to speak to safety issues. But uh, I, I scanned this. This was the, the Emperor's Royal Guard I scanned. And then m m basically with the EM3D app on iOS, scanned it in and then printed it. So now I, I made this. I gave the model out. I put the model out for anybody to print not perfect there's a little snag here that maybe someone will be able to touch up at some point and then i just painted the visor on but anyway i got a little shadow guard if you like star wars but to be able to you know point click adjust and then print models that are out there 
pretty awesome. Models being released, new models all the time. All the time. Hey, Lestat. Thank you for stopping by before you went to bed. Understand what it's like to be a long day. Tomorrow's going to be a long day for me, for sure. PLA and PETG safe in a home without taking precautions. I, and I'm pretty much stall I'm PLA. Like, I'm not even messing with anything else. You've seen some pretty cool 3D printers, items, tools on Reddit have practical uses. Yeah, you want to talk about practical? Krusty's your guy. He's practical printing. Me, I print impractically. I don't, I've printed maybe a couple of practical things. Just a couple. Not that many practical things. I'm the impractical printer. Krusty's the practical printer. So there's a lot that you could do if you're into modeling. You could, you could, you know, output that uh, and, and print it out. Uh, and in some cases, you might even be able to crowdsource. So I, uh, 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 I've got a Prusa Mini. It's small. It's got a very small desktop footprint. It's powerful. Uh, it is a champion. A lot of people like it. Um, they people like them. People like the Prusas. There's nothing. I mean, it set up. Some would say is, was easy. It wasn't easy for me because I'm not mechanically inclined. Krusty disagrees. I know myself, however. It could have been easier for a noob like me to set up, but it does work, and it works well. Um, I have very few complaints about it. Hey, PC Tech Guy. Good to see you. Welcome back to the Play Shop. So there are a lot of options out there for you. My, my suggestion, and you know, take a look, you know, what you might like. There are, some, there, there are some features about this printer that have spoiled me. It's got a feature called auto bed leveling. That's an issue where if, if, it's, if it's not level, the print's not going to turn out very well. But this particular model, this printer, and others do have this feature as well, has, it's got auto bed leveling. So it's just nice. Oh, Brother Bill, thank you for the sub gift. Brother underscore Bill gifted Beats Each Guy a subscription. Brother underscore Bill gifted a tier one sub to Beats Each Guy. They have given eight gift subs in the channel. So thank you again, Brother Bill. Uh, appreciate the support. And uh, every printer is built differently. Filament's built differently. Uh, Brother underscore Bill gifted Krusty 3D a subscription. Brother underscore Bill gifted a tier one sub to Krusty 3D. They have given nine gift subs in the channel. Very appreciated, Krusty. Uh, PC Tech Guy likes Captain Crunch. Love Captain Crunch. It's just that every time you eat Captain Crunch, it tastes like blood because it cuts up your mouth. Uh, so there are a lot of things to consider. You know, you, not every printer is built alike. Everyone's going to have different experiences. Uh, you're going to need to kind of sometimes roll up your sleeves. But me not being an enthusiast like the rest of these people, I feel that. The Prusa Mini has been good. Maybe not the, the the cheapest one out there, but sometimes cheap isn't necessarily good because you may pay for that in the long run. Uh, I will say that most of the mistakes or most of the problems that I've run into have been PebCAC. Me, right? It's been my problem, not the printer's problem because of the file that I might have sliced as I bring in it, the software that I was showing with the job of the hut that I was showing, slicing it, getting prepared for the printer. If I made a mistake in doing that or something with it, that was my problem, not the printer's problem, not the, not the filament's problem. So there are many points of failure with 3D printing. That's the thing uh, to remember. That's right, those ID10T errors. I am the king of ID10T. That is, that is me, ID10T. Uh, easily that is easily made so yeah I, I, you know y y y you'll you'll go down the rabbit hole I wasn't intending on doing it and then after um, I I'd interviewed a, a guy that I've known for years I did it live on twitch last year and just started talking to the other people who were there and uh, um, oh thank you Avaline for that sub uh, sub gift what? Aveline French oh. gifted Astro Printer a subscription. Aveline French gifted a tier one sub to Astro Printer. They have given 39 gift subs in the channel. Yup. Y'all were waiting for that sub goal to drop, weren't you? The Free you? Heathen Cheer Dex 100. Thank you, the Free Heathen, for those 100 bits and a shout out again to the Free Heathen. I'm just talking to, to uh, 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 Sour about the, uh, the prospect of 3D printing. There's a lot to consider, but feel free to ask questions. Even if I don't have the answers, pro someone else probably does. All right, all right, okay, we got another Lego walk, fine, fine. But we just started a hype train, we're at level two. And level two, we get to level three, I'll go grab Palpatine. 
What's 3D printing cute? The free heathen cute. Stick around and find out. Mr. I know everything about 3D printing. Not me. I'm not even close. But I tell you, it is it is really rewarding to... Uh, I still kind of get excited after something gets done and then I have it assembled. I'm like, oh my god, this didn't exist before I printed it. This particular thing. Maybe the model existed and someone else printed it out, but... You fly! Thank you so much! Show oh, me great. what you Here comes got! Here Palpatine! Appreciate the support. Hope you and, uh, uh Eclipse Empire are doing well. For eight months. You'll send bag of supports to do a walk-on? Absolutely not. Me, every time... Chris Perlow, honestly, I'm sorry. There are certain words that I tend to repeat, right? I do have to do... I had to, I had to show the comic, didn't I? I think I showed everything else. All right, I'm going to get Palpatine. All right, all right, Krusty, all right. Keep your shorts on. Let's uh, let's, let's welcome Palpatine in. Get the, um, the hype train graphic that Jedi drew. Oh, that's not the graphic. Here, might as well just keep it on. Just keep it on for the duration, turn on the hype light, unless the batteries, the batteries, they're dead, I guess I need to recharge the batteries, yep, gotta recharge the batteries, okay, gonna get Palpatine, thanks Liz, face Liz cheered x100, Palby Smith's bad 19,293,838,393 times awful, The free hidden cheer Dex 100. Hello, my pitiful friends. It is bad to see every one of you again so soon. But thank you for helping keep the Death Star spinning for one more day. <laughs> Outright, who says that? Chris says that. He does. Four Lego walks? Oh no, did we? Oh no, no, we're not close. Chris owes you one Lego walk. You only get two if we get through a level five. Will you make it happen? Eclipse Empire Cheer Dex 100. Thank you, Eclipse Empire. Appreciate the cheer. And the droids that you and you fly one had passed along. I get to live vicariously. I don't get to go to Galaxy's Edge. They don't like Sith Lords. No, I'm definitely not walking on those Lego bricks. I'm not going to walk on anything 3D printed. Because let me tell you, Lego bricks, they de very uncomfortable. Fu it, it's a fun kind of walk. There's no damage. It's just one of those things. Eh, eh, eh. Thank you, Aveline French, for the unicorn. I hate unicorns. Unicorns are so... I don't know, just weird. They got horns on their head. What is going on with that? Ethan's Dad 3D, thank you for the 66 bits. I ordered it. Eh, 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 eh. Shout out to you and a shout out to Nerdy Curious. I was in their stream earlier today. Couldn't hang out for very long. They uh, were not talking about Emperor Palpatine. No, not at all. Thank you, Aveline. For Is that a narwhal? A snowman narwhal? It might very well be. Now, Sour was asking, maybe looking into doing 3D printing. Ethan's dad, 3D has an application for iOS, the iPhone, or the iPad that allows you to scan those objects in. It's how Chris was able to do the Emperor's Royal Guard. Thank you, Coda120, for the 33 bits. We're in a level three with about a minute and a half left to go at 59%. Thank you, Comic Age Clothing. That's very appreciated. Yeah, is Sour not hardcore? It is true. Oh, you're on a pixel. Yes, I have a pixel too. I well, I had a pixel too. Now, now I, I have a pixel six. The software is horrible. I'm a software guy. Remember, I used to love the pixel, and then I switched over the to the Samsung. 
forced Chris to switch to the Samsung. Better software, believe it or not. In my humble opinion. Break things underscore. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the play shop in the middle of this hype train. With less than a minute left to go at 62%. Ah, ah, ah. Not quite 66%. Which is exactly what I ordered. 66. I order it every day. Eh, 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 eh. You do have an iPad? Yes, the iPad would work. Sour. You could use it right now. It's a free download that you can pay to get the, the feature. Sometimes he drops in codes in chat, though. You can get the download and scan people's heads. You can 3D... In fact, let me show... Before I pop off, Chris scanned his own head in and then put a dark helmet helmet on. But he used the EM3D app on his iPad to scan his head. And then it, he printed it off. So that is possible. Eh, 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 eh. You are getting closer to joining the ranks of the 3D printers. I will now leave everybody be and turn you back to Chris, who is now going to walk barefoot over Lego bricks. Ah, 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 ah. As long as the sub goal is maintained. Let's see here. Is it going to drop again? Oof. 526 of 525. You, you, you did. I'm wearing the same clothes as Chris is, so ignore what I was wearing there. Oh, yeah. Palpy copies my wardrobe every day. Did you see him wearing my shirt? It's like he's. We coordinate. We coordinate clothes, in case you're wondering. Uh, uh, no, I, I can't. I can't add channel points, Mark. Not at the time. At this time. Okay, so I'm going to pick this up. We're gonna walk over past the light. Yeah, oh, oh, lights. Actually, there are only two lights. Cannot wait for Picard to spin up again. Hopefully season two is better than season one. Funny how we're the same height. I know. It's, it's weird, isn't it? Comic age clothing. It's, it is bizarre. How bizarre, how bizarre. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. All right, I'm making everybody scream here. Oh, that's right, the Trek nerd. I was just talking. I just said Picard. I just I made a Star Trek reference. The Trek nerd. I did. I, where have I been? I was uh, I was frozen in the force over there. It's frozen like kind of a carbonite thing. All right, I gotta walk on some Lego bricks. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna walk and do that. Do the walking thing. Astro hey. Canuck created my stream with 38 viewers. Astro Canuck. So you joined at a very interesting time. First of all, thank you for the raid. Second of all, what are you streaming? Something, something about space, I would assume. Astro Printer, by the way, may be interested in following Astro Canuck. If you're not already, I could be wrong. When I hear Canuck, of course, Canadian, and when I hear Astro, I think space. Could be space Lego, possibly. Is that possible? Hey, Ann Browser, good to see you. So, uh, what were you streaming tonight, Astro Canuck? Gotta know. A shout out to Astro Canuck, just so uh, just so I know. Uh, I um, am this close. Oh, I love the the pixel art. I'm a huge fan of pixel art. That was my era. Uh, my name's Chris Perillo. I'm usually 3D printing something every day, talking about whatever chat's talking about. Huge Star Wars fan. Also like Star Trek. I talk about the entertainment that I might be watching. Looking for entertainment options, you know, new shows that might be out there, new movies, pop culture, that kind of thing. You can get me going off on any topic, pretty much. I love just chatting, hanging out. Sometimes I do Lego sets. I have this one that I need to build at some point in the future. This is the Mandalorian ship. Uh, I haven't done it. Now, the reason why... Oh, you do Lego on Sundays. Well, very nice. Thought uh, Tonight was processing our past images of space. That's awesome, Astro Canuck. Thank you. Uh, I am, I enjoy learning about that kind of stuff as well. Of course, I'm a Lego fan. Uh, but but even space and just learning. My, one of my best friends is a bad astronomer, Phil Plate, if you're not familiar with Phil Plate. So uh, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, give me a second. I got to walk on some Lego bricks. Uh, I, I This is the thing. I, I met, we met our sub goal. We met a stretch sub goal. So we hit the 525. Uh-oh, we lost a sub. It's okay, sub points. 
that's what happens. You know, people add subs and they subtract. So we hit 525 again today. So that means I got to do a barefoot Lego walk. Uh, but I'm going to show you a meteorite. I have a, I have an actual meteorite from Phil. And I've known Phil for eons, Astro Canuck, like going back decades. All right, here we go. Going to do this. I'm gonna grab the uh, the meteor right here, and I'll show you up close as soon as I'm doing this. As soon as I'm done with this, so you literally rated at a time that is. It, it, you might be entertained. Are you not entertained? Me doing this. This is what happens with all this with all this amazing support. El Taco makes says, "Oh snap, this is cool. You 3D print for work? Awesome! I 3D print this stuff every day. I'm printing. I, I printed Kyber crystals earlier tonight in this Gurple filament." Earlier today, I printed this Stormtrooper figure, a low-poly Stormtrooper figure. Uh, mostly I print Star Wars stuff, but I, I have printed Twitch bits. And uh, here you go. Here's a, a 3D printed Twitch logo. Woo! Stormtrooper is boss. Wait till you see it in a big screen. Okay, I got, I, let me walk. I'm going to walk on the Lego bricks because I got to get this out of the way. And then I'll come back and tell you more about what I'm doing will do. Alright. Here we go. Oh, okay. As a reminder, this is on carpet. It doesn't break skin. No blood. Just no fun either. Ah, ah, not exactly something you want to be walking on at all. Ever. Ever. It's just the smaller pieces. Just kind of, they kind of cling in there sometimes. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. So uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a Star Wars fan. All your ra all you raiders in here. Like a bit. Like I got I got Star Wars there, over there. I got an arcade cabinet that needs to be slightly repaired. More Star Wars back there. 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 Uh, you're asking about the printer. It is a Prusa Mini. It's a workhorse. It's there every. It, I print on it pretty much every day. Ah. Right now, I'm printing a, a figure, not unlike like this one. Uh, this is, of course, the one I'm about to show you. is going to be a, a protocol droid, aka C3PO. Let me flip views so you can get a better shot. Uh, so I'm printing a figure like this, an articulated figure. The pieces articulate. So uh, I tell you what, if, you, if you're if you a fan of figures, you can 3D print them on these types of printers and be happy. So this is... So I print. I like printing these types of figures, trinkety things. I, I even... I have a... Uh, I have my own little creator coin with my face there. And on the other side is the Imperial Insignia that was modeled, made by one of our mods for me. Uh, fix him, dude. A lot of people who are into 3D printing hang out here. A lot of people who love Lego hang out here. Um, geeks, nerds, you are you are more than welcome. Okay, so Astro Canuck. And, and by the way, this is another... I'm, if, uh, uh, if, uh, if Sour's still here, something that he didn't see on the earlier tour, this is an actual meteorite. Fell from space. You're a Lego fan? Got some sets? I'm a big Lego minifigure fan. Sometimes I give a tour. Is that a fact? This is seriously. This is a real meteorite. For real. Given to me by a, a legit astronomer. One of the, the best in the industry. Phil Plate. Also known as the Bad Astronomer. We met like decades ago. I also open fig like figure boxes. I, I collect figures. So I opened uh, the Queel Black Series figure earlier this evening. Very happy to do it. And I've also got a Revan that I've been meaning to open. This is a, from the 50th uh, Lucasfilm, uh, the uh, the archive series, the archives. The archives. You delve heavily into Technic and Creator Expert. I see. I just do the minifigures. The minifigure. I'm just a fan of figures. I, I mean, I, the, and I can show you up close on darn near any one of these shelves, and, and inevitably every one of them has some kind of figure on it. Like, it's just, it's inevitable. 
like uh, I'm like Thanos. I am inevitable. That's true. There are figures everywhere here. You're you're when I walk around the room with the uh, with the uh, the tablet. I, I very rarely do I stop and show like any one area over the other because we would be here all night. Which I know is starting to starting to look like that anyway, huh? Speed Champion sets come with minifigures. They do, but I tend to have. Um, I tend to have those, the the race, the racers, a few of those. I like the more creative minifigures, like the minifigure series. Um, I'm really looking forward to the Muppets that, that have been rumored as a minifigure series. So there's Darth Revan, the non-Jedi. This is the Sith Darth Revan. Got an awesome setup. Love it. Oh, Astro Canuck. This is, the funny thing is, this is not even a setup. This is... This is something that is just my space. I didn't build it because I was, you know, streaming necessarily. I built it because this is the environment that, that that I wanted to be in. Because I'm like, okay, I like collecting. I like Star Wars. I used to have a, a printer back here. Now I don't. The only printer in this house, by the way, is this Prusa Mini, the 3D printer. That's the only printer we have. The only one. The only meteorite? This. This is the only meteorite. This is it. Chunky. That's not its name, by the way. I didn't call it Chunky, but... Uh, your best cereal? I feel like you have multiple certain mornings feeling fruity flavors. Other mornings, I like chocolate. I, chocolate's my favorite kind of cereal. Although, I will say this, Nectar. The best cereal on the market today is Eggo. Eggo cereal. Not the chocolate Eggo. The plain Eggo cereal is bomb. And when I say that, I'm not just saying, oh, no, no, no. no, dude. Trust me. It is bomb. Speaking of bomb, Larzu's dropping. Larzu's shared X1000. Bam! Bam! Bomb! You just bomb. I gotta do a charades now? For real? Is that. Is that how do I. Hang on. Just a second. I gotta. I gotta shrink the, the window here so I can see what charades I gotta do. Yes, like the mini waffles. Ego makes a cereal. You use an Ultimaker S5. Yeah, this is just a mini. I mean, it's very... And I, here's the thing El, El Taco makes. You and Crusty are going to get along because he loves tacos. He's one of our mods. Uh, I only have one 3D printer. I'm, I'm very much a hobbyist. I'm, I'm a tink... I, I, don't, I don't even like tinkering. It, it's just very... I'm skimming the surface in terms of what 3D printing can do. Like, there, there's so many people who do so much more than, than I do with it. I just... I do the, the tricky stuff. Like little figurines and, and coins and this kind of... The, in, tomorrow, I think I'm going to be doing the Flexi Jabba from Wexter. I believe that's the plan. They do 3D print houses nowadays. I'd love to have a, a 3D printed like little place to do 3D printing in at some point. That'd be fun. Not sure if they would allow it. Uh, hang on. Krusty, is that is that a movie or a TV show? I'm not sure what that is. Is that a movie? The mods have given me a, 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 a charades to do here. 3D printed, 3D printing shop. That's what I'd like. You'd say 3D printers like the Crucial Mini are perfect for that type of use case. See, okay, so there you go, Sour. That's exactly kind of what I was saying. As someone who's just a beginner, someone who's just getting started, someone who may not know anything and everything about whatever, the Prusa Mini has proven itself to be, you know, worth its weight. It's it, 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 it's a good onboarding type of experience. Many people have said that, and now El Taco makes who does it professionally is saying that. But I don't mean this is now. I don't mean this in a pejorative way, but like, do your research, like, learn, study, like, know what you want, know what you might like, know your budget. Although, see, the way I look at things like this is, I don't think about budget. I, I don't do I don't think in terms of budget. I think in terms of what it is that I'm looking for, what it is that I want, what's gonna cause the least amount of pain. Because I might save a few dollars on the front end, but on the back end, am I gonna be that much more frustrated? Is it gonna be that much more problematic? Am I just gonna have to tinker and fiddle beyond you know what I believe is just reasonable? Sorry, that's a little out of focus. Ah! Drop my rev in there. Sometimes refocusing that camera takes a bit of a challenge. Uh oh lord, it's a charade stream now. Alright, well, I don't I guess this is a movie. Even Creality has some great budget printers. I looked at the Creality, the Ender 2 S1 that was just released, El Taco. I'm just not that familiar with, with Creality. 
in terms of a brand. I did have any cubic reach out to me to see if I would do a, a, a possible review, but I'm not sure if I will. I'm not sure if it's going to come out because I'm not a reviewer. I'm a great, hey, look what I'm doing. Hey, look at this. It's cool. Hey, let's talk about X, Y, and Z. And <laughs> that's, that's how I usually do things. Um, everyone's different though. You had similar experience when you're looking for a surround sound system and spend days researching all things audio. Hey, you should. You're making an investment. You, you got to know the ups and downs. You got to know the the, the, the the benefits and the drawbacks. I, I don't blame you at all. All right, here we go. I, I don't, this is, I guess this is, a, our first charades is, it's a, it's a movie. Two words. First word. Not break, but not broke back mountain. Not 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 breaking, but not breaking. You're close. Broken. Second word. Broken arrow. All right, who got who was the first one? Who got broken arrow? Astro Canuck, congratulations. You in, you in my deepest respect. And shout out again to Astro Canuck. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to pop over. I'm going to I'm going to give you a follow cuz that sounds awesome. Astro Canuck, you sound awesome. Space and Lego? Why not? Like, come on. How can I Like I I love those kinds of streams. Love them. So uh, I, I'm probably, uh, you know, uh, um, hang on just a second. Do I need to follow anybody else? If I'm missing anybody. Now, now I know, I know Sour Not Hardcore has done streaming. Are you, are you actively streaming? You're doing Overwatch now? Sour? You stream every other day. All right. Well, I may I may learn a thing or two. Then I'm going to give you a follow. It just assume I'm going to be the idiot asking what's going on because I, I don't I, I don't I don't honestly I don't the retro games I'll watch I'll like tune in and like, oh yeah I remember that but I don't the game stuff just it, I it, I'm not all right charades all right we got more charades fair enough I'm just saying don't I will not know anything. The only, the only thing I know about Overwatch is there are Lego sets, and I, I would want those Lego sets because of the minifigures. That's it. That's all I know. Let me put it this way. Fortnite, you've heard of Fortnite, right? Never played it. Never, don't really have an inkling to play it. But I have the Fortnite figures because they're like G.I. Joe figures or Star Wars figures. They're awesome, these little figures, right? So, uh, shows you where I'm at. All right, the next, the next, uh, the next one is, let's see here. It's, it's trades. Astro Canuck, thank you so much for oh Aveline for gifting Adeline the sub French to Astro Canuck. Astro Canuck a subscription. Very awesome. Aveline French Here. gifted a tier one sub to Astro Canuck. They have given forty gift subs in the channel. Right now, Sour is regretting stopping by. Sour is going. I was really trying to prune my community, trying to keep it just a, it's very insular. I didn't really need. I'm trust me. I will break. I will bring down the value of chat so quickly. Because I'll be the idiot making puns in chat. I'll be the one saying, oh, wait, is that this? Is that... I'll be the... Whoa, whoa, that looks interesting. I will be the one... Just, everything will go right over my head. You should see me trying to assemble a 3D printer. People were blessed with that the other week. That was fun. That's where the... Someone was asking you about... In, in, the, in the booklet, it said something about concentric nuts. And I didn't even know that was a term. But apparently concentric nuts is a thing. I had them. I put my concentric nuts onto the printer and then had to, like, tighten. That was this week. Was it this week? Oh, that's right. It was last Sunday. It was a week ago. All right. Uh, next charades is... I'm just going to... Okay, it's a movie. One word. Nothing goes over my head. I'm too fast. I will catch it. I could. Not cats. 
Oh, cat. Worst ever. No, but you, it's cat. But also, a, a cat. Catwoman. Yes, El Taco makes. Thank you. Nailed it. Now, El Taco makes. Do you stream here on Twitch? Pussycat dolls. That would have been a good, a good guess. Track nerd, you're funny. You. You. You're good. You. Uh, all right, so that's two. All right, the next uh, charades. Here we go. El Taco makes. You do? All right, well, here's a shout out to El Taco makes. What do you stream here on Twitch? Happy to make some connections for you. You stream workshop streams. Oh, interesting. Hang on just a second. You are. Oh, Krusty, you gotta check this out. You gotta check out his his, his his channel background. Do you do Pokemon? You do workshop stuff? You got, you, cause he's got tacos as a background, Krusty. And a science podcast, nice! All right. There's El Taco, El Taco. Stop in and say hello. All right, here we go. I know nothing about Pokemon, so don't expect. Do not. By the way, if I follow, don't expect me to show up every day. All and I may lurk. You thought it was Roger Rabbit? That would be a good guess. Super Seven also is about ready to release their Roger Rabbit figures. All right, next one. This is a movie. Two words. See, y'all. You come in here. You get shout outs. You get new followers even if you're not really participating apart from participating in chat. That's how it works. Uh, I'm not saying my stream is your stream. I'm just saying this is, it, it's that's a great way of, of meeting different people, different backgrounds. I, so thank you so much uh, for the raid, Astro Canuck. Very appreciated. Thank you for trusting your community with me. Uh, all right, the next one is is a movie. Two word. It's two words. I'm gonna try my best to act out this movie. Yes, Finding Nemo, Mystery Goat. Good job. That didn't take long. Thank God. Okay, how many more do we have? Is, is that... How many do we have? Three? Oh, just three, because one got canceled? Okay. So I've got one painting. I've got one painting Pictionary. So we're going to try this. And remember, I, I still have to shave tonight before I go to bed. Oh, man. It's going to be an early ca uh, call very early call not as bad as five in the morning but still it's gonna be and i'm gonna have to like oh it's gonna be long okay how, how how can i do this now everyone's gonna see just how well i can i can draw which is to say i can't so good luck everybody good luck with this guess one more charades well i don't see a really good one that i could use for charades can you give me some more oh there's a good one kind of i'll come back to the charades let me get this one out of the out of the queue here. Captain Crunch's chocolate caramel crunch now available. Yeah, didn't we eat that? I thought we ate some of that. All right, how can I do this? This is gonna be horrible. <laughs> you guys are gonna be like, what? All y'all. <sighs> the golden snitch. No, it's not the golden snitch. Oh, I should have done it this way. Definitely not bad. Oh god. I'm doing keep in mind I'm doing this with a mouse. This is sh Liz hush. Hush you. Astro Canuck, thank you for uh, thank you for hanging. If you have to head, I get it. Definitely not touched by an angel. I should have drawn the head differently, but I I haven't gotten to like the part. Yes, Cupid. I haven't even I ain't even done the hearts yet. I ain't even done like the 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 arrow. I want to kind of finish it now. I just feel like, you know, I made it this far in life, and I just feel like I need to. 
<laughs> Worst Cupid ever. <laughs> Are you sticking out his tongue? Damn. Uh, he's like, what is going on? Jeffrey Hume Cheer Dex 100. <laughs> Uh, well, at least you got Cupid. Thank you, Aveline. Is Aveline, did Aveline get it? She's the artist. She's the resident artist. Why is she not drawing it? All right, we have one more, um, charades in the queue here. Choo. Who we're going to see in the next season of Picard. Choo. The diaper? Of course it was the diaper. The diaper is the giveaway. You're going to 3D model that? Don't, free heathen. Don't waste the filament. The diaper and the wings. That's the giveaway. All right, here we go. It is a movie. Two words. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Second word sounds like well, actually it kind of is just different. Second word bell. The second word is bell. The first word is well, I can't really say the first word, but here let me give you an impression of the movie. Here it is. Second word's bell, but the movie's like. Memphis Bell, good movie. If you've never seen Me Memphis Bell, stop watching me and go watch Memphis Bell. That's right. Did he just did he just say stop watching him on Twitch? Isn't that what he he's he's not wanting people to do? This is the worst streamer ever. This is this is the worst knockoff Jim Gaffigan I've ever heard of. You've never seen it? Oh man, Aveline. Seriously, Memphis Bell is, is a gem. I'm not joking. Memphis Bell is a good movie. It's a really good movie. Who's Jim? Jim? Jim who? Jim Cupid? Is that his name? Jim Cupid? Hello, I'm Jim Cu Oh, Gaffigan. I'm an idiot. I don't like that. I, I, I wouldn't want to go to church with someone who recognizes me. That sounds awful. <laughs> I love Jim Gaffigan. He's hilarious. <laughs> Seriously, he's funny, dude. One of my favorite comedians. Richard Jenny was also a gem. I also love Mitch Hedberg. Oh my God, what a tragedy. Both of them, what tragedies. God, Richard Jenny cracked me up. Mitch Hedberg was like, oh my god, the best. That guy was just genius. Papa Bear underscore Oz just resubscribed for five months. Papa Bear, thank you so much for the support. And the supports that you break off. Papa Bear, far nerdier than I. He can like reassemble a 3D printer just by like, you know, not looking at it. Like, just, I'm just putting it together. Can't see anything, but I'm putting it together. Um... I don't like, is he making fun of Papa Bear? I don't like that. That's not very nice. Again, horrible Jim Gaffigan. And thank you, Britt, thank you for saying that he goes to your church. Uh, don't ever tell him. You know, I know this guy on Twitch. Hi, you don't know me. I know, my nails are awesome. Uh, but I got, there's a guy on Twitch. Like, I'm not going to say he's my friend. Like, I follow him and stuff, and he follows me, and we, like, chat in each other's streams. Not a big deal. But he was making fun of you. Do, do you mind if, if people do that on, on Twitch if you don't know it's... I don't like that. That's that's not very nice. <laughs> Unsub, unfollow. Uh, do I own any of the peanuts? No, I don't. I don't have any of the peanuts. Hot Pockets. Caliente Pockets. But he does more than the Hot Pockets bit. This guy's funny. You wouldn't like this ice cream. It's spicy. Mm. Now, go go to bed so I can wrestle with your mother. <laughs> He's just... <laughs> or something like that. I'm, I know I'm paraphrasing. God, Gavin, he cracks me. He, seriously, there are very few comedians that get me to laugh. You can get me to smile. But, like, you, you can't... It, it, it's tough to get... When, when you get me to laugh, like a ha! I'll like, ha! 
That's when you get me. Very, very few shows get me to laugh like that. Very few. It does happen. But there are very few. You love when Jim Gaffigan's on CBS Sunday morning? I, I don't tune in. I've seen, I, I've seen many of his uh, specials, of course. But I, I don't, I don't go to the same church as he does. I, I do not, I, I do not have that honor. I need to watch Sunday morning. Why? I'm not gonna start watching Sunday morning. I re honestly, I watch shows on TV, like the sh not, but not programming. I watch like scripted shows on TV. There are a few that I've been. I started watching Raised by Wolves season two. Still not sure about it. I'm like, yeah, this is. It's making sense, but it also doesn't make sense, and maybe it makes a little more sense than it did last season, but I don't know. And there are a couple other shows Apple TV's got on the horizon that may look interesting, may sound interesting. They did a story on Bucky's. What's Bucky's? Raised by Wolves is a sad future. It kind of is. Dystopian. But, I mean, it's, inter it's, in it's interesting enough that it keeps me going. Um, but those are the types of things that I watch on TV. And now I feel like there's so many new things coming out that I'm going to lose track of the things that I want to see. So I need to find an app that can help me track them. There's probably apps and services that do that. There's, I, there needs to be an easier way for me to keep an eye on, oh, I would like to watch this, but it's on that service, that on this service on this night, you know? And there used, I used to have an app that did that, but it was, it was like for network television. And it was only on iOS, so I, you know, kind of fell away from using it some kind of guide where I can just go, I want to watch this, I want to watch this, I want to watch this. <sighs> Diana's done the Bucky's vlogs. I can't, I don't, I can't remember. We did a lot. We've done a lot in this life. Too much, some might argue. Some would say I do that every night. I don't like that he does it every night. That's a lot. He needs to slow down. So, let's say we raid more Amor, a brick streamer. And remember, he was on the, we were on the fence with him the other night, yeah? TV Time is the app Revy uses. I have been watching Snowpiercer Avaline. Absolutely, that's one that I do remember. But it's like, there's so many shows that come out now across so many networks that I'm like, yeah, that sounds interesting, then I forget about them. And unless they bubble up in social, I have no way of tracking them. It's it's a massive frustration. That's that's my problem. I know it's a, it's a good problem to have. Hey, stay alive seven. Good to see you. Shout out to stay alive seven. Uh, he streams. You are a little late. I'm not gonna say you're usually late because you're not. Because uh, we're about ready to raid more and more a brick streamer. Because I gotta I gotta shave and head to bed here because I got a very early morning and a very long day tomorrow. An extremely long day. Um, like it's gonna be, it's gonna be a very long day. As much as I would love to stay, Brit, you have no idea. Like I would love to stay. Um, but I also have to be responsible. And I, I mean, the only thing, the only other thing that I could do, the only other thing I could do is shave. Like right here, actually shave on stream. That's the only other thing I could do to stay. That's it. Cause I, I have to, I have to shave. Um, I have done it before. I, well, I kind of shaved last time. All right, I'll do a pull. Uh, now what? Shave on stream. Great. All right, y'all have a choice. I'm going to give you a couple minutes. There's the pull. Do it, says El Taco. Do it. I got to shave my face. TV time, there we go. Uh, world's largest tracking tool for TV plus movies. Maybe I do need to do that then. All right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna check that out. See how that works. I just have to remember to use it. You know, that's part of the problem. You like raw cow milk? I I don't do cow milk anymore. Never. I never even liked cow milk when I was a kid. Stay alive seven. What I'm printing right now is an uh, AR ATRT trooper. I uh, also earlier this evening printed these Gerpel Kyber crystals. Are they purple? Are they gold? Are they Gerpel? 
And then earlier today, printed, uh, no, not this meteorite, and it is a real meteorite, a uh, Stormtrooper. Stay Alive 7 streams uh, The Old Republic, by the way. Pretty much. But he also chats. Other day he was streaming some Lego brick building. Like, who doesn't like Lego? Who doesn't? Ooh, so it's neck and neck. Shave on stream and raid. Neck and neck. I'm giving y'all a choice. Giving y'all a choice. Corey's like, go. Go. Hey, I gotta be responsible. For as much fun as I'm having, like, if I... If I am not responsible, like, I will pay the price. I, this, I'm not the kind of person that goes, that's for future Chris to worry about. I'm the kind of person that, that has to be grow a beard for five months. No, that's not the kind of person I am. Um, and it's good to see you, Corey, too, by the way. Uh, I, uh, hey, Senior Up. Shout out to Senior Up. I already walked barefoot on Lego bricks tonight. Thank you very much. Um, that already happened. Oh, we got an Aziz light. What color do I need to change these to? Uh, I don't have iOS, really. Oh, it looks like Raid. Raid wins. By a factor of... Yeah, there's a bigger factor. Not a fear factor, but a bigger factor. So it looks like we're raiding. Sorry I can't keep hanging indefinitely, everybody. Because we've raided a few other people that are in the list recently. Uh, so I'd, I'd hesitate to, to you know continue to raid the same people. Uh, you know, if there's another just chatter out there you'd like me to raid, I'd, be I'd, I'd entertain that. Another geeky person to raid, sure. More and more absolutely is, and more and more also stops by the stream, so I'm always happy to support the people who are here. Very happy to reinforce that support. Uh, tomorrow, I will be back at 6 p.m. Pacific. I don't know what I'm going to have. It's going to be a Sunday. It's going to be it's going to be an interesting Sunday. I didn't even have a chance to showcase for the screenshots on Discord here. Uh, but I will tomorrow, potentially. Get those Perillo Raider emotes ready. Uh, we, we raided Shannon on Tuesday. She wanted help with her friend. So we did that. Sunday is a fun day. Qui-Gon Jen is on, but I think we just we just raided her as well. Britt. Um, and we haven't done more and more in, in a while, at least as long as I can remember. And like I said, he, he's been very supportive. And it looks like Scotty Rotten's over there. So it's good. And we raided him recently as well. But I, uh, sorry for the lateness. No problem. Stay alive, seven. Thank you for being here, even ever so briefly. Um, yeah, I'll be back six. See, that's the thing. Stay alive. You know I'm gonna be back tomorrow night, six p.m. And 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 maybe I don't know how late I'm gonna be staying up on uh, tomorrow, but I have a chance to stay up later. Monday's gonna be a packed day for me at work too. Although I don't know what to expect. In fact, Monday is probably going to be easier for me to handle than Sunday. I'm losing a weekend day to get some stuff done. And maybe at one point in the future, I'll be able to tell you what it is that I'm going to be busy with. And you're going to love it. What, what it is that I have to tell you, what it is that I'm working on, a project that I'm a part of, it, it's going to be good. It's going to be it's going to be so good. Yeah, we raided Amish earlier this week, uh, Aveline, but a good call. What time am I on tomorrow? That's a great question, Zena. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Uh, thank you for the joins, the follows, the raids. The subs, the gifted subs. G4 is absolutely not involved. Um, no, trust, I, I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, I have nothing to say about that. Have a good night. Uh, Papa Bear, you too. Uh, I love you. I appreciate you, but at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices and may the force be with you always. Uh, Larzus is asking, it's not Gary V. Definitely not. Although Gary V actually sat in this chair and was on the live stream like a decade ago when I was doing Ustream. Thunderbuzz, you love it here. Great. I'm here every night, 6 p.m. You got questions about 3D printing, feel free to ask. Uh, sour, not hardcore. It was great meeting you as well. Thanks again for your support. Thank you for doing what you do. Uh, and let's see here. We'd love to see you both do something together again. It's possible stay alive. He, he, we don't really keep in touch. He kind of went a different direction uh, than, than, than I did, certainly. Uh, but you never know. We're going to be raiding a brick streamer tonight. More and more. Very friendly. Looks like he's in the middle of knolling, separating those bricks. Looks like he may need our help. Uh, feel free to throw him off on tangents. He does stop by in the stream every so often. Very supportive. You'll see him out there helping other uh, community members as well. Uh, AJ Eversole, it was only a great stream because all y'all were here. So I really, really appreciate it. Great, great to, to be here for you tonight. Great. To, it'll be great to see every, everybody tomorrow night. I'm not going to say 
Hang on. Lars who's asked if it was a Star Wars project. I will say it's it is Star Wars, but it's not it's not Star it's Star Wars related, but it's not Star Wars. I will say that. I'm safe to say that. Brother Bill, thank you again for your support and your gifted subs. Just like I, w I like welcoming people in at the top of the streams. Love uh, saying thank you at the end. If I missed any shout outs tonight, I do apologize. Sometimes I forget. Oh, that's right. This person streams. And sometimes you may have to remind me what's going on. I am not voicing a character in the Bad Batch. It would be a dream come true. Closest I'll ever be to Star Wars probably is uh, having live streamed in the Star Wars YouTube channel a few years ago. That's my claim to fame. Maybe maybe one day Star Wars will get on Twitch and they'll say, we need to find someone who can do hosting on Twitch and, and like Star Wars. And everybody and their mother would like be signing up for that. Maybe. Just maybe. Here we go. We're going to launch into the, uh, the, the raid console. Sometimes I get tripped up by this. Starting the raid for more Amore, who is just chatting right now, seemingly. Or makers and makers and crafting. Uh, it's it's difficult it's difficult for me to just chatting is what I do and I love doing it so thank you for letting me do the things that I love to do really appreciate it here we go we're gonna be Tuscan raiding get those Tuscan Raider emotes ready Perillo Raider if you are a sub that's and by the way that that emote is going to be updated at some point in the future when Jedi Greg starts churning them out because I've already commissioned him for that here we go we're gonna be Tuscan raiding more and more get him off topic. Give him a good chat. Get him interacting so he doesn't have a chance to build what he's trying to build. I love doing that to the Brick Streamers. Throw, throw him off. Here we go. Tuscan raiding. More and more. See everybody tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Pacific. Three, two, one. Uh, 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 uh. He needs a gaffy stick now. Uh, uh, uh. I got to find one. Uh, a bit of vintage one. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. All right, more and more. Here we go. One of the good ones. Ah. I might be I might be biased though. I might be biased. Chris Perillo with the raid. Look Boom. at that. My god. Perillo Raiden. We got a Tuscan raid up in here, friendos. Chris and his community. Ooh, 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 ooh. Just look at the screen. Look at all look at all those Tuscan raiders. 